iTunes 2 soundtrack on. Hi everyone, welcome. I don't know if you can tell, but there is... Snappy, stand up a little bit more. Show... Snap. There is a cat. <laughs> it's hard to tell <laughs> if you look really close. No, 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 Snappy. It's because I started talking. Are you serious? You've been in here for like an hour. No, you cannot leave now. Snappy, come here. Don't, no, she's looking at, oh. Oh. She's been in here for ages. <laughs> as soon as I go live, she said, I will not be on camera again today. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, chat. I can't force her to be on the cat cam. She sits here as well on the desk and you can't even see her when she's on the desk. Anyway, hi. Welcome back. We're doing our shell challenge tours today. Um, so I'm kind of excited. We'll get to we'll get to look at some fun builds, I think. Um, let me while we're while we're all loading up here, let me get the actual shell itself placed quick. Oh, I don't need that little sun emoji. Let me place this down so I can show you all. Okay, new crest. And I'll place it here so we can look at it in a minute. So yes, we have shell challenge tours today. We have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about related to the pack for tomorrow. Much to do and much to see. Um, I also don't have a kitten locked in here right now because Snap was in here. But I guess, I guess I could force Dan to bring me one of the kittens. Cause then we could have a cat cam cause Snap ditched us, you know? Okay. Let me tell him. <laughs> Hold on. I need Sunny. Please. Thank you. All right. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Why can't you put in your name? What, for the shell tours? Reward is temporarily unavailable. Be back soon. Eh? It is on. Oh, this is a problem. No, you don't understand. It is on. It's supposed to work, the way it works is it's supposed to just start letting you once I go live. So for, I think the problem is that it's, I think the problem is that it thinks I'm not live. Okay. We are having a big problem. <laughs> that, that is a big problem. <laughs> um, oh, it started working all of a sudden. Okay. It's not a big problem. It's fine. Hi, Sunny. Will you put her on the tree? Oh, hi, Sunny. Shaved belly. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Now put her on the tree. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Bald. Standing. Snap was in here, Dan. Yeah. Right until I started speaking. Oh. As soon as I spoke, she left. <laughs> she was on my desk the whole time, and then I spoke, and then she left. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, I'm shutting her in. Yeah, that's fine. I'll babysit. Bye. Okay. So, uh, a couple things to note. That thing right there, that's a cat. Um, <laughs> her name is Sunny. Uh, she's bald because she got spayed two days ago. So she has a couple shaved spots on her. Uh, her arm is shaved and her belly is shaved because they, she has a incision. <laughs> um, but that's why she looks like that. Um, so if you see any bald spots, don't judge her. She's just a baby and she's uterusless. So it's not nice to make fun of her for that. Um, <laughs> uh, and today we're gonna do our shell challenge tours. Um, so if you would like to, are you itchy, Sunny? Uh oh. If you would like to to have us tour your builds, if you built something for this shell in particular, the Simsy Townhouse shell it is on the gallery, um, you, if you built something for this, let us know in the chat uh, by redeeming the point reward. The way that it works is I need you to redeem that point reward because that way um, I can I can like see the um, I can see a full queue of everybody who's rede redeemed it, and then I can randomly select people to tour. Um, so that's uh, the best thing that you can do is, is redeem that so I can see your name there. Um, and then we'll, we'll randomly pick names out of that. Uh, that is the plan. That's how we always do these. Um, so just make sure you give us your, your gallery username so I can search you up. And then we'll, we'll start the tours from there. This is what the shell looks like. And then, no, no, no. Oh, don't leave, Tiny. 
Uh oh. Okay, she might come back. She's closed into here, so. <laughs> she may sit somewhere else, but she can't leave. <laughs> She's closed in because she needs to be babysat. Um, I built I built these with it. So I had like three shops in the bottom and then I had little houses on top or apartments on top. Uh, and people kind of had free reign to, to do whatever they wanted with it. Um, so it was pretty fun to get to see what everybody was doing. We're letting people, we let them kind of like change and move around the shapes a little bit more than normal. Um, and also I built, or I made, sorry, a bingo card. This is very similar to the bingo card from our Halloween shell. I have just swapped a couple things. Um, so the way this works is when we play the, the little shell challenge bingo, um, I like to just, we obviously randomly pick builds out of the list. And then when we're going around touring, if they have one of these things, we mark off one thing per build if they have them. You don't have to have them. It's not like a requirement. It's just fun. Um, so if we see something that has a cupcake machine, if we see something that has uh, My First Pet stuff being used, we'll mark it off on the bingo card just to give us some like fun activities to do while we're touring, you know? <laughs> so on this bingo card, graves, obviously. I put farm. I don't know how that's going to go because it's townhouses, but we always put farm. So I left it. We'll see. <laughs> I put telescope. Uh, we've got pet corner. That's also always on the bingo card. It doesn't mean, oh, they have a food bowl. No, it needs to be a dedicated pet space. Like if you have honestly, for me, I want it to be like the cat's apartment. Like the cat needs, you know, it there. You'll know it when you see it. Um, base game only cupcake machine blue in all caps. You'll also know when you see it. Not so berry, like if someone does a not so berry themed thing, because a lot of people do. Um, if it's for occult sims, like maybe a vampire apartment or something. Um, pride flag, lots of debug, using a cow plant, having a glass roof, using a lot of packs, um, built in Sulani, uh, has the tragic clown painting, has a plant roof, has custom art, pink in all caps. You'll know what that means when you see it, it just means a lot of pink. Includes shops like mine did, modern house, platforms, creepy, and then my first pet stuff. Um, cause my first pet stuff is free right now. So <laughs> I thought it was appropriate to add in there. Um, but I think that covers everything. The other thing, um, I should give you all a little update, um, real quick. I'll probably say this a couple times today. So officially I'm allowed to share this now, finally. Um, as you all probably assumed, I did have early access to, uh, the new for rent pack for the past like week. Well, big news is the embargo lifts tomorrow. So I can show you footage tomorrow. I'm posting my review video tomorrow. For the first time ever, they've extended our access. Usually we lose access the day that the embargo lifts or the day before. So like they would take away the access today. They extended it because they had some trouble rolling it out. Like people didn't get it in time. So they extended it and they're letting people stream the CFE version of the game tomorrow. So normally the way that I've had to do this in the past is tomorrow I would do like a live stream where I show you footage from the game. So I spent like hours recording footage to show you on stream. And then they were like, actually you can stream the game. We won't take it away yet. So I can stream the CFE version of the game tomorrow. That like, you know the weird version from the videos where it has like the watermark and no gallery and stuff. I can stream that tomorrow. And the footage I recorded for stream is useless, but that's okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's fine, um, but, but we'll, we'll get to do that. So we can actually play tomorrow, um, just with the base game and the and the, the pack, but we'll play that tomorrow. So very exciting. <laughs> um, well, that's the thing, Tiny, when you record, like when you're trying to record footage to use on stream, like I was trying to record stuff to answer everybody's questions and like, uh, it's sort of different from what I was recording for my YouTube videos because my YouTube videos, I'm not trying to show you three hours of footage all at once. <laughs> You know, um, it's a different sort of type of recording, but it's okay. Um, it's okay. Do I like it? Well, I can't talk about it right now, unfortunately. Um, but you can probably guess. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, talk about the pack or answer questions until tomorrow. Um, but I will get to play with it tomorrow together, which is pretty fun instead of just showing off footage. So, um, It'll be really good. Okay, well, I think with that, all those disclaimers out of the way, we could probably start um, showing off the tours. I didn't thank anybody for their subs. I'm so stupid. I got distracted by the cat. 
Um, <laughs> Hyperfixation and Mello and Taylor and Wanda. Uh, we got Cece and and um, we got Red Sea and CMS and Indigo and Bria and, and Emma and Lena and Hart. We got literally just Kim, Bunny, Alejandra, uh, Issy, Luna, Nin, Grelu, Jesse, Ray, Stripey, Mans and Therese and Rach and Brock. We got Logical and Stardew and Madam and Kyla and Smitty and Bex and Sleepy and Worst and Kate. Uh, we also have Bunny and Cora and Kate and Alicia and Spree and Peggy and Kaylee and games and and mr and lovely how much do i talk what is wrong with me <laughs> niece feral hurricane julia argentine elena galactic baby uh uh too far in madison and beth oh that's it okay good thank you all everybody by the way i really appreciate it <laughs> all right let's do our tours shall we so the first build we're gonna look at today is from brit4 b brit4 on the gallery let's take a look shall we I'm excited. Oh, that's item name. Okay. <laughs> Imagine the gallery was down right now. That would just push me over the edge. I'd start crying. Honest, I really would. Like, burst into tears crying. All right, here's their townhouse shell. They built it in San Sequoia. This is pretty. It says, this beachside townhome is complete with an art gallery, coffee shop, and residential homes. Oh, I'm so excited to see everybody built. We're going to have to try and think about this um, smartly as well because um i'm worried about i'm worried about how long it's gonna take to get through them all <laughs> is it is it on this lot do you think because they have like the i'm gonna get rid of you sorry they also used a bunch of packs any my first pet stuff i don't think so hi sunny you're on the desk so now you have to get got that's the rules i'm sorry sweetie you just have to say hi to everyone because you came on the desk. Okay, now you can go back. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. YouTube, Tortilla Chip, uh, Ria, and Suspicious, and Brittany, and Dee, and Kennedy, and Pumpkin. Thank you, Erica, too, with the subs. We have a couple things we can maybe cross off on this bingo card from here. So, my first pet stuff is still free. It's free until January 6th, so you have some time to grab it still. Oh, I'm on the wrong lot. I'm very silly. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can see it from here. <laughs> they built it horizontal. I'm I'm surprised they managed to fit it on a regular 30 by 20 lot. Here's what they built out of it. This is really cute. Also, I'm extremely distracted by the cat because she keeps walking back and forth in front of me. So sorry about that, everybody. Eps, <laughs> Cassandra, Simi, Doctor, thanks for the subs. This is so cute. I really like their flower boxes and like the little uh, street they've got set up. This is adorable. All right. And then around the side, oh my goodness, look at the back. Oh, they put the pretty fairy lights. This one must be like a restaurant or something. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, there's like a movie set up in the back. This one's beautiful too. I never, ever, ever, ever use... Oh, Sunny, careful. She almost, she like tried to jump, but then she hit my monitor. I never, ever, ever use this path or this like, this um, floor tile that looks really good back there i need to i need to remember that more often because i always think that i'm not gonna like the flowers but that looks really this whole garden looks beautiful okay now sunny is trying to get my mouse <laughs> and you can't step on the keyboard sweetie oh my god <laughs> this is gonna make this so much more difficult <laughs> okay <laughs> she's in her kitten uh kitten energy era right now it looks like on this left side this might be some sort of like uh, like art gallery because they have a photo or like a painting studio back here in the back. That's really cool. So they're selling art and then back here is where they make the art and they've got a little garden in the back and then upstairs they've got the apartment for the artist who lives here. That's so cool. I like the art idea. That's pretty fun. And then on this one, I assume that this is some sort of cute little cafe. They use the, um, the bubble tea thing from high school years in here. So you can come and sit down and eat. Oh, I like this with the, the pictures rested on the shelves. That's really cute. They have a little bathroom. And then this staircase takes you up to the apartment of the person who lives here. I just, I had so much fun with these. The shelves are so fun. That's so cute. And then on this far side, I think this one might be, it's all a house, I think. They have the downstairs. Look at this with the, the tile. The yellow and white checker looks so good. That's amazing. They got their kitchen back here, living and dining room. And then upstairs, they've got a couple of bedrooms for the family. 
This is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a lot of fun touring these today, but they're also gonna take us a long time. Okay, so on here, um, I think that I'll cross off includes shops. We'll just start there. We usually cross off one thing, like if a, how, if a building has like three things, we'll just cross off one usually. We'll cross off include shops. Uh, that one was from, from B Brit 4 on the gallery, is who built that one. B Brit 4. All right, on to the next one. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm trying to go fast. I am a little bit. <laughs> I want to make sure we can get through a bunch, but they're big, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Next, we got Krista Star. Krista Star. Let's take a look, shall we? Simsy Townhouse Occult? Oh my gosh. Oh, I spelled love wrong. Oh, get it together, Kayla. That's cool. <laughs> I put a cult on this as well. We won't cross it off yet, just in case, but that's pretty fun. Some occults have moved into the quiet neighborhood of Forgotten Hollow, including a young werewolf family of two parents, a child and a toddler, a gay couple of spellcasters, and a single vampire mom with her book-obsessed teenage daughter. Oh my god! Okay, 30 by 30 lot in Forgotten Hollow. Let's go see. Forgotten Hollow. Um... I'm having so much fun already, we barely started. <laughs> Shell tours are so cool. It's just so fun to see what everybody does, you know? Um, hey Jen, and Peachy, and Kay, and Razzle, and Cherry, and Tati, and Red, and Apples, and Hazel, and Lauren, and Marbles, and Lenny, and Ebbs, thanks for the subs. Sunny, do you have to walk around so much? You were being so sweet and just sleeping yesterday on the stream. That was really nice. <laughs> okay, here's their, their set of occult townhouses. Oh my goodness. How fun to have designed them like so individually for each of the three occult packs. I really love that. Okay, so we have the werewolf one on the left and they each have their own little backyards too. We'll get back to that. We'll come back. We'll do it one at a time. So in this little, t in this one, the, the werewolf townhouse, they've used all the werewolf pack stuff. So when you first walk in, they've got this really nice little reading nook. We've got a living room with a TV. Around the back, they've got a little kitchen. I love the mismatched furniture. That's so cool. There's a little bathroom down here. And then upstairs, we've got a kid's room for the little ones. And we have the big primary bedroom. They've got a little balcony too. And a bathroom up here. Sunny. You can't, okay. You can't go into that basket, okay? Oh my God, I have like, sorry, I scared her. I have like this in the shelf next to my desk and she keeps trying to go in it, but she's too big now to make it in there in the shelf. So, anyway, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Upstairs, oh, I already did that. In the back, in the back, they've got their little backyard. They've got some dog toys out here. Is that a chunk of meat? It is, okay. There's dog toys and a chunk of meat. <laughs> um, over here, she's trying to do it again, Sunny. Okay, over here, this is this, uh, the spellcasters one. So they use all the spellcaster stuff. My first pet stuff! My first pet stuff, my first pet stuff. Should we cross off my first pet instead of a cult? <laughs> they use the my first pet stuff couch. Um, anyway, <laughs> I got too excited about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one has ever jumped up and down for joy screaming about my first pet stuff. I think we'll see more of it. It's, it was free, so we'll see more of it. Um, in the back, they've got their little kitchen. I really like the color scheme in here. And then upstairs, they have beautiful bedroom and like a little office spellcaster room. That's so beautiful. They have look on their balcony. They've got all the plants set up. In their backyard, they have some more plants growing. And then over on this side, this one is the vampires unit. So they have like a little entryway. Beautiful, fancy living room. I like the color scheme in there. And then back here, we have a really fancy kitchen. Oh my God, this tile, that is brilliant. To you, both of these last two have done like custom tile, which is really interesting that they both did it. But this celebrity one, I've never thought to use it like that. It looks so good. This is like the celebrity uh, get to get famous tile that has the gold trim. But how cool does that look? Okay, write that down, chat. Write that down. Oh, there's ads playing. I was too late to snooze them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brew! You can't clip 
me jumping up and down screaming about My First Pet Stuff, people are going to take it out of context. I'm going to look like a My First Pet Stuff fan. Oh, no. Oh, why did I say that? That's so bad. <laughs> Oh no! Sunny? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, there's no mirror in the bathroom because they're a vampire. That is really funny. Here's their backyard though. Um, also, she builds houses and Iris and Simmer and Mel and Ant and Lady and Cammy and Jen Lee and Peachy and Kay and Razzle and Cherry and everybody. Thank you for the subs. Um, the clipping was necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They needed to clip me embarrassing myself. It's fine. It's fine. Let me save the game quick, too. The ads are just about done. Give them a couple more seconds. Um, you're a My First Pet Stuff fan now that it's free? No, actually, I agree. I, I'm very much pro My First Pet Stuff for the time being because it is free. After January 6th, when it becomes not free again, that I'll change my mind. But for now... Huge fan. Huge fan. Okay. Well, here's a little backyard. They have some, like, places to sit. They've got some vampires plants. And then upstairs, they've got a couple bedrooms. We've got this one. This one's for the teen, I think. And they're book obsessed in the words of the description. That's so be pretty. I almost said beautiful, and then I said pretty at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> Bathroom, and then this little bedroom. I like the shape of this little nook, too, they have. That's kind of cool. This one is really fun. I really like the idea of the, the three different occult types. That's super cool. That, that was a cool concept. You made them all look so different that way too. So we definitely have to cross off occult sims on here. Like, it has to be done. This is a good sign, by the way. Bingo is, is soon. Just need a tragic clown painting. <laughs> That's not looking good. That was built by Krista Starr with two R's on the gallery, by the way. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. So next we have 17-ish, and their gallery is Riven underscore 2005. Let's take a look. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 17 <laughs> ish do you know what your gallery ID is? I see you in chat. Do you know? Let us know. If you can figure it out, let us know. If you maybe have another name that it might be or something. Because I'll search that one. I'll save you. I'll save you. It's not a custom content thing. Um, this happens a lot. People put their names wrong. They spell them wrong. There'll be typos. Stuff like that. Um, well, let us know, 17-ish. I'll, I'll keep yours up so we don't forget. And we'll, we'll do someone else in the meantime. Um, so next we have Rachel ID X Rachel. Okay, hold on. This X Rachel ID X. There we go. <laughs> Cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When people have numbers in their name, I always wonder if that means how old they are or the year they were born in. Oh, well that person, they're definitely 2005 years old. Obviously. <laughs> They must be. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we have the Simpson Townhouse shell. This is a 30 by 30 lot. It looks like it's on the one in Newcrest. We'll go take a look. Um, they found it? Oh, good. So we'll come back. We'll, we'll do theirs again in a second. Um, mods, if you could save it for me so I don't miss it, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, well, I have their name up so I can, I can check their chat history myself, I think. Um, CNA and Lovergoth and Kath with the 41 months, Clover, Peach, Lil Nor, Michelle, thank you so much. Okay. I got it. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. I love the little pastels. That's so cute. <laughs> and they use a lot of Strangerville. Strangerville is good for this kind of thing. I hate to say it. Wow, I'm saying a lot of controversial stuff today. First, my first pet stuff, and now Strangerville, but. It is good for this kind of thing. Here's kind of around the back. And they've got, oh my god, there's a massive playground in the side yard for all the Sims to share. Wow. That makes me so happy. Okay. <laughs> I love 
that. You don't get to see the toddler stuff being used that often. So it's hard, like, it's hard to fit this places, you know? Okay, let's take a look at the inside. So starting from the left unit, We've got this really pretty little pink townhouse, look! So you walk straight into the kitchen and the dining area. They've got, look at this laptop. I never... Wow, I don't think I realized that the gold one had like fun swatches. I never used the gold one, that looks kind of cool. Um, they have a bar as well. And then back this way they've got a little dining, or sorry, a little living room space in the way back. This is one of my favorite rugs, I love that swatch. Yeah, it's that gold laptop. I never use it because I always think, oh, it's gold. I didn't know it had like fun patterns on the keyboard. That's kind of fun. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so this is the downstairs. When you go upstairs, oh, how did you fit so many bedrooms? What the heck? Upstairs, they've got a bathroom, multiple kids rooms. I love, honestly, this bed with that rug from Horse Ranch. That's kind of iconic. It matches really well. <laughs> They've got a little kid's room. They've got another kid's room. Uh, this one's a little bit more pink. And then we've got the primary bedroom. I'm amazed that they have three bedrooms up here. That's pretty good. All of mine were one bedroom, but they also had shops downstairs instead. That's pretty. And then in their backyard, they've got like some little tables. They've got a place for your laundry and some more toys for the kids. And look, they've got like a really nice gate to get straight into the park, which is pretty good. Okay, the, the middle unit. If we come right here, the middle one is like a yellow and green color scheme. Oh, look at how different it is. I like the shape of this staircase. Oh, that's cool. This one's a little bit more rustic inside. We've got like a living room back here. We've got a little desk nook and then we have the kitchen and dining room in the way back. That looks so good. I love how different they all are. It's so fun. Uh, when you go upstairs in this one, They've got, they also have three bedrooms. They have a bathroom right here. They've got like a little tiny kids room. There's another bedroom with an extra ensuite bathroom. That's amazing. And then in the front, they've got this really cute little bedroom. I really like this swatch. Horse Ranch has some really nice furniture. And this, the curtains in front of the window seat. That's really pretty. Wow, in their backyard, they have, Oh, look at the nice pergola with the table and the fire pit and stuff. I'm so excited for the pack to come out. I'm so excited for the pack to come out. This is so fun. Was it my first? <gasps> my first pet stuff. Look. <laughs> my first pet stuff. <laughs> yes. We can cross that off now. Um, on the far right side, this is the, the blue house. <laughs> When you walk into this one, oh, I love this wallpaper. Paranormal is so good. Look at this too. They put like a custom platform in the little angle so they could have like a shelf for some board games and stuff. They've got a really pretty living room. There's a duck. <laughs> we've got this beautiful table in the dining area. And then way back this way, we've got a small kitchen. Small kitchen and a bathroom downstairs. That's really nice. I like this layout, that's pretty. And then upstairs from here, we've also got three bedrooms. They've got one kid's room here. We've got a little tiny little extra kid's room right here. Is that a dog door? Oh my gosh, there's a dog door into the kid's room. <laughs> I think this might be set up for the dogs as like the dog's room instead of a kid's room. Wait. Guys, it's the dog's room. It's the dog's room, it's a pet corner. It's a pet corner. That bed is sized down. I didn't realize it first. It's a pet corner. This is what we're talking about when we say pet corner. Dedicated pet space. The dog has its own bedroom. That's the spirit. You get it. <laughs> you get it, Rachel. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And then in their backyard, they've, oh wow. Oh wow. They have a very large gnome collection. And a telescope and like some toys for the dogs and stuff. That is a, that's all of them. <laughs> that's amazing. This is a beautiful build. Oh, I didn't notice their balcony either. That's really nice. Oh my goodness. I love this shell challenge. This one's so good. I promised, uh, I'm gonna move on to the next one now. We promised 17-ish that we'd come back to theirs if they got their username figured out. So let's try and search up, um, let's try and search up what their username 
the the new attempt that they gave. There we go. That's the one. You got it, 17-ish. You got it. You got it. Um, this is their townhouse shell. Three apartments built for our newest shell challenge. See how different they all are? Isn't that so fun? It's on the same lot, so we'll go there. Um, was it base game? Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh my goodness. Broccoli, uh, uh, Pris and Simi, and Similka, and Kira, and Chrissy, thanks for the subs. Just holiday stuff? Oh, that counts. That's, that's free. Oh, that's exciting. We'll take a look at it, and it's just to, again to confirm, because I didn't really notice. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, just the holiday stuff. That's fine. You can use the holiday stuff. That's free. I'm marking off base game. Okay, let's take a look. We didn't mark off my first pet stuff on purpose, Quinn, because we're we're marking off one per build, if they have one. Not everybody's gonna have something on the bingo card. Right now they do, because we've got like a whole empty space, but they won't always have one on the bingo card. They had a telescope too, but we're doing just one, one per. Um, Marsh, you don't need the bingo card. I, only I have one. I'm just, I'm, I'm holding it so that we can all use the same one together. This is their base game version of the townhouses. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Every single one of these builds has been amazing. And okay, so in the back, they've got like a little parking lot. We've got bathrooms. They've made a whole like city street. This is the best day of my life. I really like this rooftop area with the art stuff up there. I think that's so cool. So cool. Okay, let's start on the left unit. So it looks like when you come in here, oh, it's a shop. Oh my God, they have like a little plant store and they're selling all kinds of pretty garland because of the holidays. Oh, hi Zeph, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> and Star Child, thanks for the raid too, same time. Welcome in everybody. We're doing shell challenge tours right now. Um, I built like a little shell challenge uh, and, and we're doing some shell challenge tours right now. Um, so you caught us at kind of a good time because we're looking around, it's a townhouse shell. So they're all quite big. Um, here's, here's this one. This one's also base game, base game. Um, so welcome, you caught us at a good time. We're, I'm excited about this. Uh, but so they have like a little plant store down here. And then in the back, it looks like this is how you access the apartment upstairs, maybe? So you come back through here, and then you can go upstairs, and they've got their little doorway, kitchen, dining room, living space, and like some shared bunk beds. That's so cool. Okay, let's look next door. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like in awe. So next door, when you come inside of this one, this is a whole house, it looks like. So you walk into like a little front entryway. We've got a really pretty living room area over here. Look, they decorated for the holidays. That's so cute. <laughs> I picked the shells now, uh, Reg. So we, we randomly select people um, from the point redemption queue. So everybody has kind of an equal shot. We try and do random selections. I don't pick them in advance. Um, we randomly select now, so. Um, okay, and then when you come this way, we have a little bathroom, it looks like, and then in the way back, we've got a kitchen and a little dining table space. I honestly, I've really grown to love this, this counter with the light blue countertop. I just think that's cute. I never use it, but it's a fun swatch. It's a fun swatch. In their backyard, they have like a little woodworking table too. And then when you go upstairs, they've got two bedrooms, like a little kid's room. And then we have this primary bedroom and they have a little bathroom too. That's so nice. Okay, and then on the far right side, this is this one. Oh, and they also, this one has the stuff on the roof, obviously. On the far right side, it looks like you walk into a little entryway. They've got their living room. They also have a bunch of gnomes. I like, I like the layout of this one with the kitchen right here. We've got a small kitchen. We've got like a little hallway area with some storage. There's a bathroom. Very tiny kids room right here. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and then, and then it looks like if you go upstairs, wait, there's another unit. It's not a kids room. <gasps> oh my God, it's a separate unit. Okay, so this is just like a regular room that belongs to the Sim who lives here. Fourth unit. You can go up this little stairway. This makes total sense too. Very realistic hallway. You go upstairs and then up here, they've got this unit. They have like a little kitchen area, 
walks you into the living room, studio space, so their bedroom's open, and they have a big bathroom, too. The door's on the back. That's so good. That is so good. So there's, like, a front door and then a back door. They also have pride flags. We already marked off, we already marked off base game for this one, so we won't cross off pride flag. We just do one per. But this is beautiful. You all amaze me <laughs> with your, with your abilities. That's so pretty. Um, yeah, and it, it's, it's all base game. Lots of debug they're using, and also the ho the free holiday pack, but the, the free holiday pack is free, so it's, it counts as base game as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> the free holiday pack is its base game. It should be base game. I don't know why it's separate, but whatever. Okay, let's do the next one. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm going fast. I just want to get through as many as we can. Um, now we've got Dog of the West. Uh, their name is Cantwell Jr. on the gallery. And they built two Christmas street stores or slimy abandoned mansion, depending on what will help bingo. <laughs> That's what they said. That's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, is this one? Did they attach them all together? <gasps> in this one, they attach them all together to be like one big building. And then in the in the Christmas street stores, I think they did it twice. They use they use the shells extra times. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Clara with the sub gift to 17ish who just did the last build. That was really kind of you to give them a sub. Which one do you want to... I don't know which one to go see. Ours won't be in the winter time, because I don't have it... I don't have it snowy. I kind of want to see these, though. Let's go look at it. I don't know what's going to help Bingo more, but we'll find out. Let's go to the worst world in all of The Sims 4. <laughs> Everyone's favorite, Magnolia Promenade. <laughs> and Dalek and Dainey and Thieving and Zeph. Thanks for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Merry Christmas. Let's take a look. I'm sorry it won't be snowy. I'm really sorry. Such a useless world. Yeah, Magnolia Promenade's a flop. You frequently forget it exists. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, imagine there's snow, though, okay? Imagine there's snow. You guys. You guys. So they, they took the shells. It looks like this is the shell, like the three in a row. And then they took extra and, and copied them to make early to make an extra building. So they, they made more than we even told them to, which is pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay, so around the side, they're all decorated for Christmas. It's all decked out red and green. Around the side over here, we've got a phone booth. There's some seating. We've got this little like winter market area to sit and eat. I never thought to use this, but it does kind of look like a snowflake, doesn't it? Um, back here, it's winter in Florida. So, okay, that's why there's no snow, it's Florida. That's why. Um, <laughs> back here, we've got an ice rink. They've got some pretty trees. This pe these people are selling some stuff. In the middle here, this is my favorite part, I think. They've got like a little spot to sit and eat with like the fairy lights hanging above it. Are you kidding? Okay, and then in this unit, Oh my god. This unit sells like toys. It's a toy store. So you can come here and buy all your gifts for the holidays. You can get toys for everybody. That's so cute. On the right, uh, in here, we've got all of our Christmas floral arrangements and, and other such holiday plants. So you can come buy like flowers for the table. You can get garland. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. And then on this far right side, this one's, it looks like a, a restaurant sort of space or like a lounge maybe because they have a bar. You probably sit outside here too. And then from the upstairs, they have even, there's even more shops. You go up this staircase in here. Is this like an antique store? They've got an antique shop upstairs that is amazing they've got a little clothing store and they've got everybody dressed in all kinds of sweaters <laughs> i bet this was so fun to build i want to do this i want to build 
build something like this. I'm jealous. And there's a photo studio. So you can get your Sims holiday photos for their holiday card. <laughs> you can get everything. You can get dressed. Come over here, take your picture. Okay, and then on this far right side, we've got some more. So we have like a little cafe shop right here that you can come into. Get your food, they've got a bathroom, you can go upstairs, they've got some more tables all set up with some pretty decorations. And then on this far side, this is a bookstore. They put little bows on all the bookshelves. All kinds of books that you can buy. It looks like you can access the upstairs from back here. And then up here, there's an apartment. What a fun idea. I feel like I'm watching a Hallmark movie right now. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love the holidays. That was so fun. Santa's pit stop. Yeah, Santa, um, when he needs a, a rest, he takes a little break here for a sec. It's a long night for him, so. <laughs> he can come take a break if he gets a little tired, you know? <laughs> That's so cool. This was built by Cantwell Jr. on the gallery. Cantwell Jr., if you're looking for it. Um, Guys, she's back. Oh, she's giving me major bug eyes right now. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's sunny. Um, do do we have anything we can cross off? Was it was it a lot of packs? Oh yeah, it sure is. We'll cross off ten plus packs. How about that? All right, let's go on to the next one. This is so fun. I've, every single one we've seen has been unbelievably amazing. I'm just, and they've, they're all so different. Not a single one of them has been like even remotely similar to the one prior. It's so cool how, how like, diff how different people's ideas are, you know? Um, okay. Next, we are going to do Chowder and Mo is who is up next. Let's take a look. Inspired by South Auck oh, okay. Inspired by South Auckland, content warning such as heavy drinking. It is a sad reality for many, many families. Um, my hopes are to provoke thoughts and changes or to just raise awareness in general for struggling families with the stark difference in treatment of these properties. Let's take a look at this one. All right. I don't think that commenting love in all caps is appropriate. <laughs> Let me I normally do, <laughs> but maybe not, maybe not for this one. Maybe not this time. How big was that lot? 40 by 20, ooh. Oh, it's in um, San Sequoia. I love that lot. Let's go take a look there. Um, let's see, what was the last one called? Uh, at this point, I don't remember. <laughs> at this point, I do not remember. I'm sorry, it was like a Christmas shop. Sunny, what are you gonna do? Oh my God, Chaos Cat. Now she's on that. She slept peacefully literally the entire stream yesterday. And now we have this. She's, hold on, do you? She's, that's her head. What are you doing? I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> she might sit on the chair, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, I'm sorry to have um, interrupted the middle of this build. Uh, there's a, there is a cat in the way, unfortunately. This is honestly like very impressively laid out though. Like first and foremost, obviously I don't have a lot of experience with like New Zealand. I'm from Florida, um, but this in general looks like a very realistic layout for a home. Like it's kind of cool. Kitty's job is to confuse you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got, they use the shell twice. Um, they've built one on one side and one on the other side and they have like a little hallway in between. Um, <laughs> I don't blame them for not furnishing the whole thing. <laughs> I wouldn't have either. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, okay. So on this left side, are they? Yeah, they're all, so it's, it's three homes. So when you first walk in right here, um, you come inside, we got like a little living room area. Oh, they even have family photos. That makes me so happy. I think it counts as having CC because of the photos, Felix. That's why it says that. I don't know where she went. Okay, sorry. They've got photos of the Sims. That's so cool. 
Um, and then you come in here, they've got like a little bathroom downstairs. You can come further back. They've got one bedroom down here, beautiful color scheme. Um, and then we have like the kitchen and, and dining room all set up. Look at these pictures. Yeah, and the empty ones are move-in ready. There you go. So you could play if you wanted to. Uh, when you come upstairs, uh, they've got, wow, there's a lot of bedrooms here. It's four bedrooms in this unit. Um, you come in here, we've got perhaps the biggest bedroom, like the primary bedroom, maybe. They've got some pictures from the paranormal stuff pack, Sunny. Guys, I think she's behind my computer. Sunny. Oh, I imagined it. Never mind. Oh my god. Sorry, everybody. I'm like, <laughs> she's not behind my computer. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted today. <laughs> you can blame the cat. You can blame the cat. Um, we've got this bedroom. We have a little blue bedroom. I really like the game stuff they've got set up in here. Um, and then we have this bedroom in the front and they've got a balcony, which is really nice. That's beautiful. I think I'm hearing things. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Sorry. <laughs> okay. In this unit, uh, on the other side, it looks like it's kind of mirrored from that one. They've got a bathroom in the same place, but on the other side, um, when you come in, in here, we've got like a living room space, little, uh, dining area, table set up. Um, and then we have the kitchen back this way. I really like the, the clutter they've put in here. I bet this took them a really long time to build, to like dig through debug, to find all these things. Down the hallway, they've got a back door. Oh, I didn't look at the backyard. This one, the backyard, they've got a clothesline. Um, these people have some like stuff stored out here. Little bedroom downstairs. Um, this could be, we could mark this as lots of debug, to be honest, on the bingo card. There is a, a quite a bit of debug in here, even with like the, the pictures the kid has drawn. <laughs> oh, we've got like a little room for the babies in here, full of toys and stuff. And then this one, we've got uh, the primary bedroom this way, and they've got another bathroom upstairs. And then in that third unit, it looks like the front door's on the side right here. So you walk in from this way. Look at the little baby's mat. They've got a table. Uh, their living room's here, bathroom downstairs, another kid's bedroom. I really like this one. I like the stuff they put at the end of the bed. That's so cute. That is so cute. Um, and then back this way, we also have the kitchen and the, the dining table, it looks like. Are those sack lunches? Oh, she's running. Hi, Tiny. Please don't go back there. Oh, that's why. She's playing with a toy. That's why I keep hearing things, because she's pushing around a toy. I'm so sorry. I feel like I feel like I'm not being nice by being distracted by the cat in the middle of this tour, but I'm worried about her because she just had her surgery a couple days ago. Okay, that's why I'm hearing things. She's got like a little toy mouse that she's kicking around. Um, in their backyard, they've got a sprinkler set up, it looks like. And then upstairs, they've got three more bedrooms. There's a little toddler room right here. Um, we've got a little nursery for a baby, and then we have the, the big primary bedroom. This is really, really amazing and very impressive. I just want to point out that it's, it's really cool how, like, different they all are and, and the story you're able to tell in this build. It's really, really cool. Um, I also imagine that it took you an extremely long time to build, so, uh, big, big props and respect to you for that one, because I cannot imagine how long it would have taken you. <laughs> this one's all set up and, like, move-in ready if you wanted to play in this lot, too. Um, okay, okay, let's go and maybe mark off, let's mark off the lots of debug, I think, on the bingo card for this one, um, and then we can go on to the next one, yeah, shall we? Oh, the slats are for construction, oh, that's really smart, the slat fence in there, or the walls in there, that's actually really smart, I didn't even realize that, that's genius, okay, Let's go on to the next one. Um, we shall go and check out Silver Gray Monkey on the gallery. Um, oh, there's about to be ads playing. I'll let them run and then we'll, we'll go. Because they're going to start in like 20 seconds. Might as well let it start now. Yeah? What? Tiny, come here. Can I get you? Hello. Do you have to be in chaos mode right now? <laughs> do, you, do you have to be being chaotic? <laughs> Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Anyway, ads are playing, so we'll, we'll pull the next one in a second as soon as they're done. Snappy's good, she was in here before I went live. Literally, as soon as I went live, as soon as I started speaking, that's when Snap left. She was here like for the first maybe 20 seconds of the stream. 
And then she ditched me as soon as I started speaking. I opened my mouth and she was like, no, I'm out. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> Snap's a big star now though. I posted I um, today on YouTube and on Instagram. I, I uh, did a, a sponsored post with um, a Petivity litter box monitor and Snap starred in the video. Um, so she said, I'm too big for this. I'm a star. She spoke to Busy. She doesn't need to be here, you know? <laughs> she doesn't need to be here on the stream. She's got too much going on. So she's an actress. <laughs> Love how you asked Sunny about chaos modes if kittens have any other modes. I know. Well, she had, she was so sleepy yesterday. Do you want to go back on your tree? Hold on. I have like a little shelf that I thought she went behind it a second ago, but she didn't. So I need to put it back so that she doesn't go behind it. That would be bad. Okay, sorry, everybody, sorry. They have sweetie mode too. Kittens, they go in chaos and sweetie mode, they switch. Okay, <laughs> um, Silver Gray Monkey uh, is their Twitch name, the person we're gonna do next, but their gallery, ooh, bookshop, bookshop, bookshop. Okay, let's take a look. This is a 30 by 20 lot in Newcrest, it looks like. She was also 24 hours post-op yesterday. Yeah, she's had a whole other day to, to recover. She is going behind it. Oh my God. Guys, there's this uh, very high chance that my lights turn off right now because they're plugged into a power strip and she just stepped on it. Oh my God. I gave her an idea. I gave her an idea. Sunny, you have to get out from there. Come here. Come here. Tiny, come here. Come here. Oh no. <laughs> She's looking at me. Sunny, come here, sweetie. Basically, my desk is like in the corner um, and there, there's a large space that she can be in where there's nothing, but I can't see her. So I want her to not be there behind the desk. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry. This is a bad day to be doing shelter works. I'm very distracted. I'm very distracted by the kittens. Oh, it's Sunny, you came out. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. She went back in. She thought about it. Come here. She's out. Okay, hold on. Let me put it back. <laughs> Let me put it back. Scoot this back and then I'm gonna put this. Oops, sorry, that was my controller. I'm gonna put this cat bed in the hole that she's entering it from. So I block it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Problem solved, now she can't get back there. <laughs> Wait. Okay. <laughs> Quick kitten proof, now we're good. <laughs> so here's their build. Um, they, they also built, it looks like there's shops on the first floor of this one too, which is kind of exciting. Um, so this is what the outside looks like. They're all kind of different. One of them's a little bit more modern and stuff. Um, around the back, they've got some storage and like some dumpsters. Look at all the debug things they place. All right, so the first one, oh, bookstore. Oh my goodness. And it's covered in spider webs because it's old. That's actually kind of iconic. I love that. So they've got a really uh, old kind of messy bookstore back here. And then you come around the back, you can access the bathroom and you can also get upstairs um, to the apartment that lives above it. That's so fun. Oh, look at the teddy bear on the bed. <laughs> That's so cool, that's so cool. I love seeing what people build. It's just so impressive, like to see all the detail people put into stuff. It looks so like real, I don't know. There's story, there is story. Does the rainbow door count as a pride flag? <laughs> I mean, maybe, no, we'll we'll see pride, oh, another pride flag, don't worry. There are people put them in lots of our builds for these shells. Um, in here, is this like a kind of funky furniture store sort of vibe? Thrift store, <gasps> thrift store. It's a thrift store. Oh my gosh. That's actually kind of fun. Look at all the stuff they've got. I really like all the layered rugs you put. I've never thought to do that. It looks really cool. It looks like a real one near you. Does it hope? That's so fun. Um, in the back, they've got some storage and then Yeah, that's concerning. There's a skeleton and some swords on the wall. 
I get it. I get it. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go upstairs. <laughs> um, oh, look at how different this is. You go up the stairs, they've got like a little dining nook. Their living room is here. Kitchen, beautiful bedroom. Look at that. And they have a little bathroom as well. I really like how different these all are. That's so cool. I like the rugs, the rugs are fun. I might steal that, to be honest. I really like it. Okay, and then on the far right side, this one's like, it looks like some sort of art studio. Uh, maybe they take painting classes in here or something. So that everybody's painting the fruit bowl. <laughs> They've got this so you can wash all your brushes and your paints. They got the canvases back here. Um, and here we've got a little bathroom, some canvas rack storage, and they put a baby gate in front of the stairs because upstairs is somebody's apartment and they have a balcony. I like the layout in here. That's really nice too. Look at their bedroom with the colors. That's pretty. Oh my goodness. How fun. See, this is what I mean though. Every single build we've looked at today unrecognizably different. Like they're so, you would never know that it's the same shell. It's just so cool. I really, I really am enjoying this. <laughs> the mirror in the last bedroom. Oh, this does look nice, doesn't it? I like this area. I think the, the clutter on there is cute. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try and go ahead to the next one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be quick. The cat slowed me down. <laughs> I wanna get through as many as we can. Do you think anything for the bingo card was in here? I don't think so. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, a lot of times, um, oh wait, did we mark anything off? Oh, we put lots of debug for the last one. I don't think it counts as a modern house. And I don't think that it counts as pink. And it also doesn't count, we, we can't, just because it's kind of doesn't mean we can mark it off. And that's not a dig to the person who built it. They didn't know it was gonna be on the bingo card. So nobody's like, it, it's just, you know, random. Um, it's supposed to be just on the, on the, um, side. Oh my god, she's running. Can you see her? That thing. See? Sunny! Oh my god, because she has the toy. <laughs> she's playing with it. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got Kiersey next. Um, this shell restarted their Sims kick, apparently. You're welcome. I read that as Sims Ick at first, and I was like, oh no, you hate the Sims now because of me? <laughs> but Sims Kick and Sims Ick are different. Sims Kick and Sims Ick are different, so that's good. <laughs> uh, Love Witch, we're randomly selecting names out of the people who have uh, put the redemption in chat. It's random. All right, let's take a look at this. 13 Apples and Drive, the perfect townhouses for all your needs. Perfect for any stage of life you may find yourself in. Pay your rent, thank you. <laughs> Pay your rent, thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lima K, hello Roxanne41, thanks for the subs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> did I just start streaming? Like, did I, like, did I not stream before this? Like, am I new to Twitch? Now I've been streaming on Twitch for like six years. <laughs> um, but I do play The Sims like pretty much every day if you wanna come by, welcome in. Um, I went live about an hour ago. You meant today, okay, good. Yeah, I've been live for about an hour. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, let's take a look at this one. This is cool. I like the different bricks that you picked. It's a totally different vibe than before. We also have these, the little like parking lot out back. You gave them a lot more space to park than I did. They had way tighter parking spaces in mine. This is nice. Lots of open area. <laughs> okay, okay, so on the left side, it looks like when you, <gasps> ooh. Oh, I like the red and black. I really like the red and black. Um, that's really pretty. <laughs> Sorry, what am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a really pretty little living room back here. Um, and then in the way back, we've got the kitchen and dining room. Look at the like pretty copper color. Um, <laughs> they're, they're debating what, what a symbol in chat was. Um, and the symbol in chat, it was... Um, I can't. 
it's it was you know anyway <laughs> they said what does this mean <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> it was, yeah it was uh body parts <laughs> is what it was Anyway, beautiful <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> Upstairs, we've got, oh, fancy office space. Stunning, beautiful. A uh, little bathroom and then a pretty bedroom. I like the colors that you picked in here. It's really fancy. Um, and then on the middle one, in the middle one, slightly different vibe. Small family, look at the pretty art on the wall. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artwork. And then back this way, we've got a huge kitchen. They've got all this clutter with like the groceries. This is so fun. Little bathroom downstairs too. And then, oh, I sorry, I forgot about the, the backyard. They've got like a patio space. And then this person, they've got a little sandbox for the kids. Um, upstairs, we've got a bathroom. We've got a really cute little kid's bedroom shared. And then we have this nice primary bedroom with a little desk in the corner. Oh, I really like this. They have this, like, the baby prints and the birth certificates from the kids that were born. Was there a pride flag? Oh, pride flag! Okay, good. We'll get, we'll cross it off probably on this one. Um, and then on the far right side in here, we've got the, like, kitchen and dining space. I really like these chairs. I think those are so cute. I need to do, like, a whole living room kitchen designed by that because some of these patterns are really nice. Uh, but they've got a super cute little kitchen area in the back another pride flag <laughs> we've got a really really beautiful little living room they've got a space for them to do their like yoga and exercises with the bookshelves cat <laughs> and then upstairs we have this beautiful little kids room or like teens room maybe um they've got a bathroom and then an extra set of bedrooms oh wait a minute maybe some roommates live here Oh, I really like this one. The way that they have like, it's like a desk set up. Maybe they're like college students. That's three pride flags. That means we can definitely cross it off on the bingo card. <laughs> and that was three. <laughs> I really like this build here. That's really, that's really nice. You did a really good job with this one. I'm very impressed. Okay. Their name on the gallery, um, Kiersey underscore Sims, if you're looking for it. Uh, also, Arrow and Miriam and Lena and Kay, thanks for the subs. Don't forget the basement. Oh, you have a basement? <gasps> oh my god, they've got basement storage. Oh, you've got basement storage. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Maybe when the pack comes out, if you wanted to play here, you could put like the utility stuff, like how they're going to have the water heater and stuff. They have the laundry and like some pipes down here. That's so cool. Look at like the extra baby stuff stored down here as well. Christmas tree. <laughs> I really like that. You did a good job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We'll see what we can do. Does anybody see a tiny cat? I do. That thing. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, did your toy go underneath the chair? I think her toy, I think her toy went underneath the chair. <laughs> Sunny. <sighs> Hold on. Let me see if I can get her, um, let me turn my face cam off. Let me see if I can get it. And if not, I'll give her another one. She does have more in here. Oh my God, she's in like extreme chaos mode. Sunny. I do have, you have that, you want it? Try this, Sunny. You wanna try that toy? I can't tell. I don't think it did go down there. I don't know where she put it. Oh well. Oh well, I gave her another one. We'll see what she can do. Why I turn the face cam off? Oh, Cause I had to stand up. And that's embarrassing. I don't want you to see my body. If you were a streamer, honestly, you guys, if you had 4,000 people watching you, you wouldn't turn yours on either. You think, why does it matter? Well, there's people watching that I don't want to stand up in front of. <laughs> I like bend over to pick up the cat toy and who knows what they're going to clip. I just, you know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> people are weird. So that's why. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to the next one, shall we? Um, the next build that we're gonna do is It's Bitter Cup, and their name is XT13X on the gallery. Oh, I did that wrong. Sorry. Okay, downtown house. Oh. Um, includes a family townhouse with two bathrooms and two bedrooms, a bookstore and coffee shop, um, and also a laundromat. Oh. Okay, now what's happening is Sunny has Oh, never mind. She stopped. There's a there's a ball attached to um the <laughs> the tree. <laughs> go go crispy, thanks for the gifted subs. I'm really sorry, everybody. <laughs> I think that this one was built actually in um, the werewolves world. Now she's on the desk. Sunny, I don't understand how one tiny cat can have this much chaotic energy. You've been so sleepy. She's literally on the Pentant, by the way. Like I, every 12 hours. What is that, Sunny? The vet said, are you gonna need to give her medication to keep her calm so she can heal from her surgery? I said, uh-huh, it's a kitten as you can see. <laughs> as you can see, she had her uterus cut out two days ago. Now she's laying down on my desk. So, unburdened by uterus, now she finally is free. <laughs> D-Dog Sam, Lucy, thanks for the subs. Thought she had a suit. Yeah, she, I make her wear the suit only at nighttime. Um, I haven't, I don't have her in it right now because uh, she's not messing with her stitches right now. She doesn't have, her stitches are inside of her. They're not out, she can't get to them. Um, the bigger concern is that she licks it too much and then gives herself a rash, according to the vet. So she's fine, um, but there's only so much that you can do <laughs> about a kitten. So, Sunny, everybody's calling you bald. And you are, they're right when they say that. Look at this thing, look at it. You see how bald that is? And then her little bald arm too. <laughs> you're so bald. You're so small and you're so bald. <laughs> okay, here's this person's build. <laughs> All right, what is she gonna do now? She's thinking about like, she's back there. I'm, I'll just let her be, she'll be fine. <laughs> Why are you embarrassing her? <laughs> no, it'll grow back. It's just, it's very shocking. Her pale white belly against her black fur. She looks like a tuxedo cat now. She's in her tuxedo cat era. Big day for her. <laughs> she went to the vet and she came back a different color. <laughs> all right, anyway, this is this person's build. Um, I really like these three colors they've got going on here. They're all kind of different styles too. They also have a parking lot. We've got like a little newspaper section. My grandma, every day, she she drives to a thing like this and she buys the newspaper from it every day. It's kind of cute. She also, um, she doesn't mail anything from her house or like pay for someone to bring her the newspaper because she feels bad that they have to like carry the mail or like bring her a newspaper. So she drives to pick it up every day. And if she has to mail something, she drives to a mailbox and she puts it in instead of like making them pick it up from her house. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is the, we got some mailboxes out here. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandma. Um, and then in this unit, oh, dumpster, big day. Mailbox! Oh my god, my grandma would thrive here. <laughs> um, around here they pick up your mail, Gina, yeah. Around here they do. Um, if you wanted to send something, they would take it from, from here. So, um, wow, I didn't know that was not common in a lot of places. It sounds like it's not at all. Interesting. I, um, if I'm like mailing my grandma a card, I'll put it in my mailbox, but I send out sometimes hundreds of cards all at once for my charity streams. Um, and those ones I bring to a mailbox like this <laughs> and I put them in there. <laughs> Friend has to have a PO box. Interesting. Interesting. To, re to even receive mail. Wow. What are you doing? Now she's playing with the rug. That's interesting too. Ay, ay, ay. That's so American. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. Um, okay. Anyway, this is the laundromat. 
So they've got uh, all of these little laundry units. Um, they've also got some vending machines and stuff. I'm not saying this to point out a flaw in your build. That's not my intention. But just in case you guys didn't know, they have a laundromat swatch on the washer dryer. It has like a coin insert space. Um, the blue is cuter, obviously, but um, it's kind of fun. <laughs> and they got custom art. Oh, we'll, we'll mark that off. Um, but they do have a laundromat swatch. She's, she's climbing the side of the rug, like scooting herself across the floor attached to the rug. Oh my God, we've reached a new degree of chaos that we have not experienced the past couple days. <laughs> she's like hugging the side of it and like scooting herself along while attached to it. Now she's on that. Now she's not, okay. <laughs> Anyway, back here, it looks like uh, you can come into a living room downstairs. They also have like a cute little grill back patio space. And then upstairs, they've got their kitchen, dining room area. They have a bedroom and a little bathroom. Um, no, she's not doing it to scratch her stitches. Her and her brother both do it. They're like, it's because of her claws, she's clawing them. Kind of like how you would use a scratching post, but you're sideways. So it's not about her sisters, it's she's, she's playing. Um, <laughs> so anyway, up uh, on the middle unit, in the middle unit, it looks like they've got um, sort of a cute little cafe area going on, place to buy your stuff, get your drink. Um, they've got some books and things for sale right here. More custom art. Um, and then they also have a staircase and you can get up into the apartment from here. Really cute pink color scheme. Um, and then in the back of this one, they've got like a garden space. And on the far right side, again, totally different vibe. There's another um, multi-floor unit. Look at their family photos. Oh my God. That's so cute. Do you think they're playing with those Sims here? They have their kitchen. They've got a little bathroom back here. And then they also have a kid's bedroom, a bathroom and the primary bedroom. That's so cute. Okay, so that's, when I say custom art, I'm talking about stuff like that. So we'll mark those off. Dad, that is not shrimp. Every time you say the wrong one, maybe she'll turn around. Sunny, show him how bald you are. Sunny, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny, come here, Tiny. Can you show him how bald you are? Look, see? What if I ruined it? Cause now she's paying attention to me. No, we're fine. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Straight up ignoring me. All right, let's go to the next one. Lonnie, poetry, Abby, Luna, thanks for the subs. I love that, uh, by the way, bitter cup. Let's go on to the next one so we can get through as many as we can. Danny DeFito is who is next. Danny DeFito. Custom art is not CC. No, weirdly, it's not. You can find a lot of that kind of stuff on the gallery. Um, oh, Henford Commons. Agnes, Agatha, Kim, and a mysterious new pub owner have joined together to form a new common area for Henford on Bagley. Kim has expanded to a new produce store. Agatha and Agnes have a flower shop and help grow produce for Kim. And the new pub owner keeps to themselves and watches from the sidelines. They built a little Henford on Bagley shopping setup. Okay, let's go see this one. I, li I really like that idea. That's so cute. Um, 30 by 20, I think it might be this one. I'm not sure. Let's go see. Um, Lonnie, Sam, T-Dog, thanks for the subs too. Okay. Well, Luna, the problem is starting tomorrow, I can post early access content with the new pack. We tried to uh, be speedy with this shell to kill time before the new pack comes out. And starting tomorrow, I have a significant amount of pack content for you. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in a shell tour video on YouTube. Um, Cause I've got so many pack videos for you. So. My goodness, she's wild. Okay, so here is the Henford on Bagley Commons that they built. Look at this little area with the planters and the sign. 
Yeah, tomorrow. And we can, I can stream it tomorrow. They extended our access. And be, this is the first time I've done this. Normally when I stream the pack uh, on the embargo lift day, um, I, so hold on. I think my dad is making fun of Sunny. <laughs> My dad just sent me a screenshot from stream of Sunny's bug eyes and he just said, sent the screenshot and said, yep. He's making fun of my cat. <laughs> he's referencing her bug eyes and he's right. Anyway, for the first time ever with these early, this early access stream, normally there's like two embargoes. There's the first one for the CFE build where I basically only have footage to show you on stream. And then I get the actual game like a week later and then we can play it. Tomorrow, they've, because they extended our access to the pack, I can stream the CFE version, the weird one that has the watermark and no gallery. I can stream that tomorrow for the first time ever. Because normally they take it away before the embargo lifts, but not this time because they extended it. So I recorded hours of footage that we don't need <laughs> because I can stream the actual game. And I obviously have videos for YouTube, um, but that's a given. That was gonna be a definite, so. Um, okay, let's take a look at the inside though, shall we? Oh, on the right side, they have like a garden set up. Exciting stuff. So in here, oh, grocery store. Oh my God, there's a meat wall. I should have put meat wall on the bingo card. Guys, shh, close your eyes, okay? Are they closed? Oh my God, I did put meat wall on the bingo card. Oops. <laughs> you can open your eyes. I found it. It says meat wall right there. Meat wall right there. It says it. Whoa. <laughs> meat wall, meat wall. Someone said, what is a meat wall? Oh my God. Well, my friend, you are in luck. You can grow meat. Anyway, they have a selection of fish for sale. Um, they've got some produce for sale. Uh, back here, we've got some drinks and other canned goods and stuff. They've got a selection of gnomes. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, and then upstairs they have, it looks like um, some more, look, look, look. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. I wanna build, oh, I wanna build a grocery store now. This is so cool. They've got like a storage room. There's more meat walls in here. That's kind of alarming. Um, <laughs> in the middle, this is like a pub that they've got going on. So there's the bar and some seating. Upstairs, we've got some more seating and, and some music and things. And then a little bathroom. Actually quite a big bathroom, to be honest. Um, and then down on the far right, this is Agnes and Agatha's flower store. So they've got all the pretty flowers lined up. This is such a fun idea. Upstairs they've got Agnes and Agatha's apartments too. And then they have the garden outside, obviously. Okay, here's a here's another problem. Is is now the point of the stream where we should start marking off two things per build if we find them? Cause they also have a farm, and I just realized that because I cheated to put meatwell on the bingo card, I'm probably never gonna see a farm again. It's okay, we won't. <laughs> that was amazing. That was Danny underscore defeato. Like defeat, like I defeated them on, on the gallery. Um. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, now we've got Clover BB um, on Twitch is their name and this is their gallery username. Pause for a cause. Sunny, do you hear that? You have pause. Oh wait, her camera looks weird, wait. Is that better? There. She noticed I was moving it. She said, what are you doing? Pause for a cause. A pet adoption center where you're welcome to come socialize with Brindleton Bay's strays. Give a pet a loving home or come hang out and give them some love. Sunny, you're a stray. Yeah. Oh, I don't think she liked hearing that. She had to think about it. She said, I'm what? Oh, we're seeing some stitches now. <laughs> she said, not like that. Wait, who me? <laughs> who me? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, 20 by 20 in Brindleton Bay. Um, she said, I'm adopted. <laughs> I'm adopted. 
Okay, she didn't get chosen, she just sort of lucked out. That's mean, Hope. There's nothing lucky about being found in a sewer. Why are we saying bald? Oh, because my cat got spayed two days ago. So you can see um, her bald spot. What, Sunny, what are you licking? Okay, it wasn't her incision, so it's fine. I just moved her leg so I could see it. Sunny! It's, she's lower than it right now. Oh, maybe not. Oh God. Oh God. Like I said, she just can't lick it enough to give herself a rash by accident. That's the only problem that that has, but she's kind of, she's grooming generally. She's not just grooming it, so she'll be okay. Um, no, she didn't get a cool tattoo. People keep talking about, oh, like, my cat got a tattoo and they got spayed. So they didn't get anything. That doesn't even look like a cat. What is that? <laughs> look at her belly. <laughs> the way it's folding. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You look amazing. You look amazing. Don't laugh at her. Don't be mean, okay? <laughs> She's just a baby. <laughs> She's just a baby. Um, okay. Amira, Jem, and Simcat, and Joe, thanks for the subs. Here's the, um, the cat adoption, uh, pet adoption center that this person built. Um, so when you come in, let me drink some water, hold on. Um, when you come in, we've got, it looks like uh, a cute spot to sit and read. They've got some cat stuff. There's some things for kids. It's set up as a library, so they've got a lot of bookshelves for you here. Fish tank. Um, around this way, they've got a seating area. All the pets are back here. Oh, that's so cool. They've got this whole pet area for the cats to have some privacy. They built like a custom cat platform. Sunny, you would love this. If you would like open your eyes long enough to look, you would love that cat platform. There's a cat tree. My first pet stuff. Did I mark that off yet? <gasps> My first pet stuff. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> My first pet stuff. Uh, and then down on this side, they've got some tables for studying, some more cat trees. Uh, we do have some bathrooms for your Sims to use. There's even a changing table in here. Um, and then upstairs, uh, in this section, we've got some more place to sit with the cats. There's a mini cow plant. Office space. Oh, the cat room is like two stories. That's cool. There's another office here. The cats can sit in this windowsill. We've got some chess tables. What a fun library concept. And then you have all the pet adoption things. This makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 it's a cat and dog hangout. So they'll hang out over here so you can like meet them. She's not licking her ouchie, I don't think. Hold on, let me see. No, she's not. Her ouchie's in the middle of her. She's just licking where the edge of her fur is, so she's okay. She's just grooming. She's just grooming, it's okay. I love this, thank you. Made my day. Made my day. Um, Beautiful, I love cats. <laughs> I marked off my first pet stuff for that one. Annoyingly, ads are gonna play any second, so I'll let them run and then we'll pick the next person, I think. Um, a spontaneous cat, thanks for the 42 months. Um, Amira and Jem, thanks for the subs too. Massive pet corner. We we did cross off pet corner, we've, we've had both. We're doing pretty well. We still need to find graves, a farm, and a telescope. We did kind of find a farm and a telescope already though. If we were crossing off more than one thing per build, We'd also have platforms and maybe modern house, but one per build. Um, blue in all caps, not so berry, cow plant, glass roof, Sulani, tragic clown plant roof, pink, modern house platforms, and creepy. That's what we're looking for still. Exciting. Um, oh, really? Magic's interesting. Yeah, they gave, um, Sunny got her microchip on Tuesday as well. So now she's microchipped. She's like Robo Kitty. She's got a microchip now. 
Um, I was always pro microchip. Um, team important to get your cats microchipped, especially if you're going to have a cat go outside. Mine don't go outside, but if they do, you should get them microchipped. My uncle, I swear to you, a couple months ago, my uncle had his cat literally stolen. Stolen. My uncle lives in Illinois. He gets a call from a vet in Arizona. She says, hey, I have your cat. He says, what? She said, yeah, I have your cat. This person, she she brought it on a plane because she was like, oh, I found a stray. I'm going to bring it home with me. It was my uncle's cat. She brought it to Arizona. So my uncle had to fly to Arizona to pick up the cat and then fly home same day because she stole his cat and brought it to Arizona. So anyway, found out because the vet scanned the microchip and then had his contact information. The lady, she said, oh, I was going to bring it to the vet when I was in Illinois, but it was a Sunday, so they were closed. So I just got on the plane with it anyway. You did what? I'm sorry, you, you picked up a cat and you brought it on a plane before you went to a vet? You just found a cat and you brought it on the plane? Really? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> interesting choice poor cat right um yeah so anyway the, the cat was chipped so he got the cat back which is like honestly a miracle to find it in arizona like that but um no she didn't pay for his flight she didn't offer she didn't even really apologize <laughs> he also wasn't sure if she was going to show up because he told her like can you meet me at the airport at this time he wasn't sure if she was going to come but she did and apparently this woman, I thought, because I guess her parents are neighbors with my uncle. So that's how, like, the cat, she saw it because her parents live near my uncle. And I thought when he said that, maybe she was, like, a college student or something. No, turns out, not that it makes it any better or worse, but maybe it does a little bit. She's in her 30s and a nurse. So, like, you aren't, you aren't young and irresponsible, you know? Like, you, I feel like you should know better. Like, you're grown. <laughs> Anyway, she stole the cat and brought it to Arizona. Arizona! So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I could not imagine. If you want to adopt a cat, maybe you should find one locally. I don't know, just a theory. <laughs> just an idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back can be H. It's fun to do sexual stuff. I can't get over it. I'm sorry. Just the thought of like, I found a cat and now I'm getting on a plane with it. In the span of a couple days. <sighs> okay. Well, the next person, <laughs> the next build. Uh, this is Rebecca Ravenpaws uh, on the gallery. Their name is, their name, or on Twitch, sorry. Their name on the gallery is R. Hardy, bunch of numbers. So let's take a look. <gasps> Switzerland's, a bar that doesn't take sides. This is a frequent hangout for students of both Brightchester and Foxbury. Upstairs are three really boring dorm rooms just waiting for your Sims personality to liven them up and to be converted with the new apartments. Wait, that's so fun. So it's a bar downstairs and apartments upstairs. Oh, that's so cool. Where am I going, Brightchester? Um, well, that's the thing, right? It's wild. It's wild to me that she got in a plane without checking a microchip. Absolutely wild that you didn't take it to the vet first. Like, and he doesn't look like a stray. Like he's, a, it's a, anyway. Um. <laughs> When I found, when I captured Frank and her sewer babies, first thing we did was take him to the vet, same day, and the first thing the vet did was scan for microchip. So it, like, that was first, anyway. Um. <laughs> so here is uh, their, their bar in Brightchester. This exterior looks amazing. That is so cool. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So in the inside, oh, that's so fun! On the inside, there's like a middle section with the bar and then like each each college has a, <laughs> so you don't need to <laughs> interact with the enemy. <laughs> that's really cute. So it's all decked out for Brightchester with some pictures and the memorabilia. They've got like some TVs. And then this side, same thing. They've got it all red inside. That's so cute. I really like university. This, like, the university pack in The Sims 4 is really fun. 
But there's drama in the middle when they have to interact with each other. <laughs> and then they said upstairs. Yeah, they, they said upstairs there's some generic student housing for your sims to live in. <laughs> wow, it's like, <laughs> it's all, it's gray. It's very neutral. Monochrome. I'm looking at a black and white image right now. <laughs> I love the, the shock of the red and yellow to this. I like the idea of this though, because you move into like a really blank slate and then your sim can update it, you know, based on their, their preferences and stuff. I really like that. And then they have a small kitchen area. They've got the living room, couch, a couple bedrooms, a couple desks. Classic uni couch. It looks like it's made out of plastic. I know because Dan had something like this where he lived for a while. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. I really like this. I think the exterior is amazing though. What they've done with the ivy and like the color scheme with the brick and the, the black and white, I think that looks really cool. I'm excited because, so when the pack comes out, obviously currently, if you wanted to do student housing, um, like if I switch this to university housing, it would get mad at me because it's got the stove and stuff. But with the new pack, you could make residential rentals and then you could use those and just have the students live in them and then kind of make your own like pretend student housing um, that has a kitchen. So you could like level up, maybe like as your first semester, they live in a dorm that has no kitchen and then second semester, they live in an apartment like this. So I, cause that's very realistic. Like in real life, a lot of people, their first semester, they have to live on campus. So they live in like a dorm situation, shared bedroom, no kitchen, blah, blah, blah. And then you move out um, and then you can have a kitchen. I think that would be cool. So, and then you wouldn't have people in your dorm come into your bedroom in the middle of the night. So. No, you couldn't limit it to rent it out by only Sims in classes, I bet. The same way that dorms are. So it wouldn't be like only other students. But I'm picturing myself, like if I was gonna play with, like when I did my university Let's Play, I made my students and then I made some other students and like I enrolled Malcolm Landgrab in college and I en enrolled some other students in college. And then, so I, I might like fill it manually to have like students in the other two, just for fun. But maybe I'm a little bit dramatic about stuff like that. Do dorms actually have no stoves? Yeah, Sarah, a lot of times here, um, like similar to how the dorms are in, in university um, where they have like a mini fridge and a microwave. Like my, a lot of times dorms will have like a kitchen in the building that's shared between everybody. And then in your bedroom, you might have a mini fridge if you're lucky and you brought it with you. Um, and then you would eat at the dining hall a lot of times. My dorm didn't even have a kitchen in the building. I think it's a fire hazard thing. They're really dramatic about like the kind of stuff you can have in your dorm because they're worried, like, you, like, they're like, maybe you can have a coffee maker, but you can't have a kettle, and you can't have a rice cooker, and you can't have this, 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 like, they're very dramatic about stuff, um, but anyway, depends where, what school you go to, and where you are, and, and stuff, like, at my school, the newer buildings had kitchens in the building, but mine was the oldest, and it didn't have one, so it kind of just depends, um, but people, like, you know, they, almost start fires in a microwave and then the whole dorm has to evacuate because there's smoke alarm going off and it's a whole thing so yeah I don't know it's ridiculous but <laughs> that's the way it goes <laughs> all right let's do the next one worm kid is their name that's what I call my cat I call my cat worm this is cute obsessed not that cat I call snap worm this one gets called bug so, what do you mean? It's so fun to have to evacuate the 17th floor of a dorm. Oh my God, Hope. Mine was only two stories. Your life was, your life was worse for sure. A single mom and her daughter moved in between two old townhouses. The mother loves pink and decided to renovate the house to match her style. Her daughter strongly dislikes pink, so her room is quite different. <laughs> Her, she loves art and painting, so she sometimes heads over to the abandoned house to do art. And the left one is occupied by a single man and his dog. He has a thing for the neighbor, but she has no idea. Oh my god, I'm watching a movie. 
It's a rom-com. They're gonna fall in love. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's lore. It's a love story. Can I tell you guys something? Uh, my number four top song on Spotify this year was Love Story by Taylor Swift. I don't even know how. I don't know. I don't know. No one even forced you to say this? Yeah, well, if, for the sake of honesty. Yeah, that was my number four top song. No, I didn't leave it on by accident. No, there's not really much of an excuse. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I think that part of it, to be honest, I listened to um, I listened to the This Is Taylor Swift album uh, on Spotify a lot in the car. So like my top song was Cruel Summer because it was at the top of that playlist for a while. Um, I don't think that Love Story is. Oh, Love Story is. Well, you guys. See? That's why. They're the top handful of songs. So there. There's a reason, not an excuse. <laughs> Your top artist was RuPaul. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, my top my top two were Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, and then the three people who made the Sims 2 soundtrack. So. Julia, I, I do have it, because you can click on a playlist and you can say, exclude from my taste profile. I literally have that. I have that on the Sims 2 soundtrack. I did, I did it last year, but it's still in my Spotify wraps. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, I don't really care. <laughs> I only listen to Taylor Swift and I'm not exaggerating when I say that, so it's fine. Like it doesn't matter to me that much. It's only Olivia as number two because of her new album. Because I listened to only Taylor Swift and then, oh, Olivia's new album. But, like, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say that it's only Taylor Swift. So. Anyway. <laughs> here's, the, here's the apartment building. Um, so this one on the right side is that abandoned unit they were talking about. That's so cool. When you come in, it's full of some like abandoned furniture and like some mess and stuff. And they said that sometimes the the daughter comes over here to paint, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's like a spot for them to paint on the wall. I love that. And then, whoa, pink, hold on. Bingo, <laughs> bingo. Okay, anyway, it's all pink inside. Um. <laughs> And then uh, we've got like a little kitchen, they've got pink appliances, a uh, little table and stuff by the front door, pink living room, pink bathroom. Upstairs we've got uh, the pink bedroom for the primary bedroom, we've got the pink hallway, pink bathroom, and then the teens room who hates this house, according to the description. Absolutely iconic, I love that. I really, really, really love that. Um, and then on the the other one, this is the unit that, oh, I'm lost. This is the unit that belongs to that guy who's single and he wants to date her. Um, so when you come in, he's got his little kitchen set up. He's got dog treats for his dog. Uh, we've got like the little table for his keys and things. Dining room. We got our living room space. We got our little bathroom, dog doormat. Upstairs, dog toys, laundry, another bathroom, bedroom with more dog stuff. <laughs> um, I think I've uncovered a red flag. I think I've uncovered a red flag. What's this? Stun gun? Pepper spray. Yeah, I saw that, but then I just thought I would I would ignore it. I thought maybe it's a TV remote. <gasps> oh my god! The, 
I cannot believe I called this a rom-com. I'm, I'm horrified. I'm horrified. Unbingo. Unbingo. Hold on. This is not, the, no, 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 no. I'm marking creepy. <laughs> we are marking creepy. Run. That's so bad. <gasps> This is like a horror movie. That's horrible. Wow. We, that, wow. Okay, we've been through a lot just now. <laughs> I can't believe the lore that was included in that build. I'm like, I'm shocked. There was, a, that was a journey. We like, we <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> it's very impressive. That was by Worm Kid on the gallery. It's very impressive how much detail you can include in a Sims build. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The next one that we're going to do, uh, this one is by <gasps> Snap. Snaps SLM on Twitch, Sim Morrissey on the gallery. Look at the basement. Was there a basement? Oh, there, there is no basement. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. I just looked at it. I take the love comment back. Scary. Okay. Anyway. Next. <laughs> This one, uh, this one is, is Morrissey's. Uh, it's a trio of neighbors who have lots of differences, but share for a love of historic homes in the heart of Sam Ishuno. On the left, it's a couple who hosts their grandkids regularly. In the middle, it's a bachelor because we love men. <laughs> Are you sure? That's what we just saw. Um, and on the right, it's a young family. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. Oops, all caps. Um, 30 by 30 in Sam Maishuno. <laughs> oh, hey, Novel, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. We just, we're doing shell tours. We just toured one. Um, the guy had a saw in his bedroom and a window into the neighbor's house. Really creepy stuff. Um, so you've caught us at an interesting time. That's not Sam Maishuno. <laughs> you've caught us at a very interesting time. <laughs> Samantha, inconspicuous, tropical. Uh, Sean, thanks for the subs. Okay. Oh, and this, that thing, um, her name is Sunny. It's a cat. It might not be obvious to you right now, but it is a cat. If you look at it big full screen, you can tell. Um, she's just a little tiny kitten. Uh, she was in her chaos era earlier. Now she's in her sleeping era. Um, also, she got spayed two days ago. So she's, you know, she's been through a lot recently. <laughs> so... She's in her tuxedo cat era, era because her uh, stomach was shaved, so. <laughs> I get it. All right, let's take a look at this building. This is really cute. Historic townhouses in San Maishuno. I am so gonna build something like this. When when we get the pack for real, I'm gonna make some like a, like a set of brownstones or something. That's like probably my number one build when we get the pack and we have like access to all the other packs because tomorrow we're only gonna have the base game and the new pack. But next week, on the day the pack comes out for real and we've got all the packs, first thing we're making it like a brownstone building in San Marcino. Probably on this very lot, to be honest. <laughs> yes, we can play with it tomorrow on stream. Tomorrow on stream. Yeah, that's why I had to do the shell tours today because the embargo lifts tomorrow. But the bonus is normally we just show off footage on stream on these embargo lift days, but they're letting us stream it. They didn't take away our access yet. So I can stream it tomorrow. Yeah, for real, like actually playing it, not just footage. So, okay, let's take a look inside. Um, so on this left unit, this is the grandparents who regularly host their grandkids, it said. Oh my God, is that granny and grandpa? <laughs> I don't think he's super dead in this version. I used those pictures when I called that guy super dead in one of my builds recently. That's the reference. 
Um, and here we've got a little bathroom. They've got their kitchen and dining area back here. Uh oh, sorry, I yawned, my bad. <laughs> And then in the back, they've got like a little garden and space for the kids to play. Um, upstairs, they have, I like how it's carpeted upstairs. That's so realistic. They've got their little bedroom for granny and then they've got the kids room for the kids to come stay. <gasps> That's cute. The debug pillows on the bed. I really like that. They're not debug, they're from the, um, the kit, the like outside. Um, Little campers. Every time I have to think about it. They're from the little campers kit. That's cute though. Um, we've got like some toys for them to play with. They've got yarn. They can sit and watch TV in here. That's so cute. And then in the middle unit, this person is renovating the house right now, it said. So they're like mid renovation, I think. That's pretty cool. I like this big kitchen. They've got a little bathroom downstairs and then upstairs. Oh, look. They changed it into a walk-in closet. So they've got the walk-in closets and then they have the bathroom. This is actually kind of like what my house looks like. <laughs> like you walk past the closet to get into the bathroom in my bedroom. That's kind of fun. Um, the bedroom's a bit bigger than mine, but <laughs> I really like this. This is nice. Um, and then we also have in their backyard, really fancy outdoor space, grill and stuff. I need some water, hold on. Oh, Sombra, thanks for the like, tier two sub gift, by the way. Uh, and 23 and Crystal, thanks for the subs. Um, and on the far right, this is a small family, they said, who lives here. They've got like some toys downstairs, bookshelf, little living room. I like this with the table behind the couch because they can put some cute clutter there. Uh, we've got a little dining room and a kitchen. They've got a back door to go to their backyard and they've got a big backyard with some toys for the kids. And then upstairs, we got a little nursery for the baby, a bathroom, and then the primary bedroom. I like that wallpaper. That's nice. You're still shocked from that last one? <laughs> this is this is a good, um, like, recovery build that Snap has built for us. It's a This is a nice recovery. We needed, like, a breath of fresh air after we, we just got... It was terrifying. <laughs> Where's that rub from the circle one? Oh, this one? This is toddler stuff, right? Is that called the brat mat? Troublesome toddlers throwing tantrums? Place them on the brat mat to work out their aggression. This rubber surface comes in a number of fun patterns to grab a tot's attention and jumpstart their imagination. <laughs> Why have I never noticed it was called that? Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> interesting. This uh, this build was built by Snap Snaps SLM on the gallery. It's SL Morrissey on nope, sorry, backwards. SL Morrissey on Twitch. Snaps on no SL Morrissey on the gallery. Snaps on Twitch. Oh my goodness, I said it wrong three times. Get it together, Kayla. Let's go to the next one. Um, so. The Sims team really has some very interesting uh, descriptions of items sometimes. <laughs> very interesting. Okay, okay. Cassie J007 is the next build that we're gonna go to. How's Sunny doing? Oh, she's good, Tana. She's really calmed down. Um, she really had a um, uh, chaos moment um, uh, like an hour ago or so, but we're asleep now, so. I, I gotta be honest, Hope, I was like, what are you saying to that person? But it's their username. <laughs> I didn't see that though. I just see Hope type goodnight homosexual ghost in my chat. And I was like, what is, what are you talking about? That's their name. That's their name. Um, she didn't just say it for no reason, but I fully was like, what is, what are you saying? <laughs> it's a good username. I like it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what a comment out of context, huh? <laughs> okay, this is a diner and apartment inspired by Gilmore Girls. This diner has an upstairs apartment that spans both the diner and ice cream shop next door. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> Ale and Foho and Cat Lady, thanks for the subs. That's fun. 
I'm excited. I'm surprised that Sunny isn't reacting to my screaming. My unbelievable screaming. It's okay. <laughs> I haven't seen all of Gilmore Girls. I had to stop watching. When I was watching Gilmore Girls, Is I was a senior in high school. Um, like, applying to college and then starting college. And when Rory Gilmore got to that point in her life, I said, whoa. <laughs> I'm under too much stress to watch someone else do this. I need to do it myself first. And then I didn't start it up again. I should watch it though. We watched a couple episodes last Christmas with Dan's sister-in-law. My sister-in-law too, I guess. But it's Dan's brother's wife. Um, she's a big fan of Gilmore Girls. And so we watched a little bit of it when they were here last year for Christmas. Um, but I like Gilmore Girls. So does this person who built this. <laughs> okay, so here's the outside of it. Uh, we've got some little mailboxes set up. On the left side, this is like the, the like little cafe diner. And then on the right side, we have the ice cream shop. I want to see the diner first. Oh, look how big it is. Oh, that's really nice. So there's a really big restaurant. It's classed as a restaurant. That's like the main thing. So you've got all these tables that you can sit at. They've kind of taken over the middle section. They've got uh, the kitchen back here in the back. We've got some bathrooms. I'm yawning again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've not been sleeping much because I keep waking up in a panic about the kitten, but everything's fine. She's fine. Uh, upstairs, <laughs> upstairs we have um, one of the apartments. So it looks like you come up here uh, and we can get into, oh, look how cute this is. Little kitchen. They've got a whole like cooking setup using the new pack. We've got this really nice uh, like living room, seating area, art studio. We've got a storage room right here with all the decorations. Oh, I don't have the sunny emote. Hold on, I'll put the sun back for her. Um, and then over this way, it looks like we've got a bedroom and a really huge bathroom with laundry. There's even a closet. You're awake for two hours in the middle of the night last night because you had one cat on your chest and the other on your stomach and you were so uncomfortable. Yeah. This thing is really small. When she sleeps on me, like I keep waking up in the night and she's there and I don't realize. And I'm like, oh, there's a kitten here because she's so small and tiny that it's like not obvious to me when she shows up. <laughs> I'm sorry I called her this thing again. <laughs> okay, and then on this side, this is the ice cream shop. They've got candy. Oh, look at the glass windows in between. These are a little bit less uh, nefarious, these glass windows <laughs> than the other ones. She is so small and tiny. I liked petting her. She was still small. <laughs> she is very little. Big, she's a kitten, she's a kitten still, so. Okay, and then back here they've got like some storage in the ice cream shop, it looks like. Um, and then the whole upstairs obviously is taken up by the apartment. Oh my goodness, why do I keep yawning? Let me save, sorry. It's like the show, yeah, isn't it kind of fun? Luke would disagree, yeah, Luke hates the window, but I don't know, it's the Sims. Ooh, they have a no cell phone sign. They got custom art for no cell phones. <laughs> we would cross that off if we hadn't already. I don't think we can cross anything off from here. That's really cute. I didn't notice that at first. That's also a Gilmore Girls reference. Um, that's really funny. Luke hates cell phones. Did you do a whole Stars Hollow inspired build? Really, Megan? That's so cool though. I bet it's amazing. Um. Okay, okay, anyway, beautiful build, absolutely stunning, made my day, thank you. <laughs> well, pancake, so we did cross off pink, but then it turned out that it was creepy, so I erased pink and then put creepy instead. Oh, there's a menu probably, hold on, let's take a look. Um, Star, thank you for the sub, by the way. Okay, no, Lauren, don't feel bad about yours. And this is important to me, okay? I don't want any of you guys to look at, oh, it's, it said it's a diner, duh, it's a diner. I don't want any of you guys to look at these and then feel bad about yourselves, okay? Every single person who did a build did a really good job. We all have so many nice things to say about every single build that we have seen. So please don't look at someone else's build and then feel bad about yourself. The goal here is not for anyone to ever feel sad. Like the the point of this is, is to like celebrate the community and take inspiration from each other um, and like get ideas and show off cool fun things and like learn from each other and like learn to use things in different ways. It's never, never to feel bad about ourselves, you know? Um, I don't want anybody to feel bad. I want you to feel inspired. That's, that's kind of the goal. 
right? Um, I get it. I feel that way sometimes too. I see their builds and I'm like, wow, mine sucked. <laughs> but it's that's not true. Yours does not suck. Um, they're, they're all good for different reasons. They all have strong points. Like, it, don't feel bad, okay? Um, annoyingly, ads are about to play. So give it a minute. They haven't started yet, but they will soon. And I can't tell when. It just says ads starting soon, um, which means really soon. Well, the next person we're going to do is uh, The Sim Cat. And they're uh, cat of the human. Sim cat, that's like that thing. <laughs> Sorry, I called it that thing again. <gasps> oh my gosh, they put fake buildings next to it. That's cool. Let's go place this down while I wait. The ads just started, but I'll get it ready to go for when, when the time comes. It's in San Sequoia, I think. It's over here is where we will be, just not yet. So, I'll hold off. <laughs> That's so fun. Martha boosted 47 cities. Thank you all for the subs, I really appreciate that. They get the fake buildings out of debug. Um, when you use the debug sheets, there's two, bb.show hidden objects and then bb.show live edit objects. Um, when you are in the live edit objects, you can find a lot of debug stuff that's like used in the environment so you know when you're looking around a sims world and they have like all those fake buildings out there and they've got like all that landscaping you can access those things in debug so you can get like the the big giant fake shells of buildings they don't do anything they just exist um but it's nice because you can you can look at them <laughs> Um, it's it's kind of helpful for things like this too, where they want to have it look like there's little townhouses in between some big buildings. But um, yeah, hopefully that helps. You're not getting ads either. Weird. That's a good thing, Donald Duck. To be honest, if Twitch doesn't give you ads, that's a win. Not everybody gets ads. They they send out ads to most people who are not subbed. Is when it happens. Um, if you're subbed, you don't get ads because I have it turned off. I can't turn it off for everybody. It doesn't work. It doesn't let me. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, there will be ads no matter what. At least this way I can control sort of when they play and I know when they're playing. Um, but uh, yeah, you're, if you didn't get them, you're lucky. <laughs> it's a win. Um, okay, Colette, Anna, Alice, Pink Cat Lady, thank you for the subs. And this is Simcat's build that we're looking at right now. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's so fun. I really, I really, really like that. I think that's so cool to have the shells right there. You know what we should do? When the apartment pack comes out, we should try and make like this shell as a real functional apartment. Oh, I have so many ideas. I'm, I'm gonna build so much when the pack comes out. I'm gonna be insufferable. I just have so many plans. <laughs> that looks so cool though, doesn't it? It looks like a real street. So here are the little units. We've got uh, this little blue one that looks to be a bit more modern, I'm, I'm guessing. They've got some stuff up on the roof, um, like a telescope and the, the boxing stuff and everything. We got a little pink one, and then we also have a little yellow one. And these are occult townhouses, so... I assume werewolf, vampire, spellcaster? I assume? Oh, I can cross off telescope. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have this kind of like modern industrial vibe going on with the interior. And they've got a like a nice living room. I'm sorry. Why do I keep yawning? I'm so sorry. <laughs> in the back, they've got the kitchen. Um, in the in the middle, they have a little dining table set up. Um, I really like this with the like exposed ductwork and stuff. Um, upstairs, they have oh, it's lofted. There's like a cool lofted bedroom area. How fun is that? And they also have a ripped up photo of Vlad. Big relate to that one, I must say. Amazing. You built a castle with yours, Ems? That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, and then this one, this is the vampires one, I assume. I like these windows there, that looks amazing. When you first walk in, they have like this little tiny hallway area. Um, you walk in to a pretty pink, oh my gosh, it's like a pretty pink vampire's house. So they have like a formal living area, there's a bar, we have this really nice dining table. This is the only kitchen they have. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's a fridge and there's like the juice and the blood packs. So they don't have a regular kitchen because it's a vampire and they don't need one. <laughs> so they've got a big dining table instead. They also have a picture of Vlad, but not a ripped up one. And then upstairs they've got their coffin. Um, and like, oh, it's a little baby's room. <laughs> That's so cute. And they have a bathroom too up here. Oh, I really like this. This is fun. Okay, and then on the far right side, this is the spellcaster's house. So you walk in, they've got like some glowing orbs. There's bookshelves, cats, Sunny. You see that? She doesn't care. Why doesn't she care about your builds? I'm so sorry, chat. It's really rude of her to, to not care. Anyway, fireplace, <laughs> dining table, orb, kitchen. Um, when you go upstairs and they've got, ooh, my first pet stuff. <laughs> they've got like a cauldron, big bathroom, um, and their fancy bedroom. This is really pretty. Okay, are we at the point now where we can cross off more than one thing per build? Yes, two hours in. Can I bingo with the pink or no? We make the rules. I'm seeing a lot of yeses and also a lot of noes, so I'm not sure. They're saying do it. Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! You don't think it was pink enough? But the other one was all pink on the inside and we crossed that off. Fine, 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 I won't. We already crossed off telescope on this one, so it's okay. <sighs> Guys, I'm not seeing enough graves. I'm not seeing enough graves. Where's the murder? Come on. Okay, uh, next we're going to Retro with a lot of O's. That's the next build. Yours has graves? Okay, good. Brindle Tempeh Town. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. You guys are all so good at this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, it's their first ever shell build. They're home to a grandma with cats, a single mother and her three kids and a fresh graduate on the top floor of the right one and a cafe on the first floor. Come on. Let's go see. Um, Brindleton Bay. Is this one Ragdoll Refurb? Those are all 2015, so it must be this one. Let's go see. Yours has the tragic clown. Oh, really? Wow. Oops, <laughs> I did it again. Sorry, <laughs> I just, <laughs> this happens all the time. Sometimes people type really nasty things and then like everybody bans them all at once. I just unbanned someone that my mods banned because I banned them too and then I unbanned them. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Let, here's a fun game. Let's see if I report them, if their account will get deleted. Because, I mean, Bruin got banned for two weeks for joking about... Uh, I won't even repeat it, because I don't want to get banned. One of my mods got banned for two weeks for joking about hating men, in reference to people being homophobic in my Twitch chat. Um, so, if I'm getting sexually harassed, are they going to get banned, Twitch? Let's find out! Hold on. Um... Okay, we'll see. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Liv, thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, and Worm, thank you for the prime sub. Janet, Coletti, thank you so much, everybody. Um, it's not a big deal. This happens every day. It's not a problem. I'm very, very accustomed to it, chat. Don't worry. But it was funny because I unbanned them by accident. <laughs> Cloud Crystal, thank you for the 38 months. I really appreciate that. And I had to type because I reported them as an experiment. Anyway, this is our beautiful Brindleton Bay townhouses. This is so cute. I absolutely adore this. The little pathway you made, I just think this is so cute. I, I, all of your builds today have been amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. So on this side, we've got like a little fence around the back that each kind of have their own little separate yard spaces, but they have a view still, which is adorable. 
Let's go on the inside. I think this one is an elderly person and they're cats, they said. Yes, they have a super cute little cat doormat. They've got like a walkway. The storage underneath the staircase. Over to the right, we've got a little living room. They've got a bunch of uh, like crafting things over here. Cat tree. Super cute little dining room. There's a back door and then there's small kitchen. Can I say something? This looks like something I would build. The inside. I really like it. And I think the reason is because it looks like something I would build. <laughs> There's a reason I like it. Feels like home to me. <laughs> it's beautiful, stunning, perfect build. And then upstairs, oh, look at this. There's like a little um, like lofted space. They've got a, a games table. There's some cat things. That's a cat corner. Um, they've got their bedroom back here. And then they have like a little um, bathroom upstairs as well. Oh, I really like the things in the windowsill. That's so cute. That is a blue suburban, my friends. I gotta be honest, I'm marking it off. <laughs> that is blue in all caps. <laughs> blue in all caps. Okay. Um, and then let's see. When we go over to the next door one, I think this one was like a small family who lived here. That's what the outside looks like. Very cute vibes. I like the brown accents. I think that's really nice. Um, and then um, when you go inside, little entryway, they've got some toys in the corner for the kid, a, a nice living room with their TV and some storage. Oh, they have a stool in the kitchen. That's so cute. <laughs> That is so, so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, and then we've got their dining room space and stuff. And then, oh, they did get banned. Oh, that's pretty good. Thanks, Twitch. Sometimes it, sometimes they don't. Um, who, who, the question is, for how long? <laughs> anyway, um, upstairs, <laughs> we've got a little hallway. They've got a fish. Oh, they even put fish food. <gasps> we have fish food in this game? Oh, it's from Get Famous. Huh, okay, anyway, they've got, oh, they have like a little nursery space for a baby. And they've got their bedroom up here and a little kid's room back this way. Oh, that's so fun. And they've got a closet as well, like a nice walk-in closet. I really like this. And then over to the right, this one had like a cafe or a bar or something downstairs. So when you enter in this way, they've got the mailboxes for the apartment upstairs, but then they've got like a sitting area. Um, they've got some tables. You can use like buy the food at the cafe, bathroom, games table. There's some more seating outside in the back. Oh, and these people have, look at look, they've got like a little toddler plaything and some toys. That's so cute. And then upstairs, upstairs, they've got a hallway and then you can enter into this small studio apartment. Oh, I really like that. A lot of people have been using this debug laundry stuff today. I've seen more than one person use that same debug one. And I've never used that one before. It looks cool. Um, okay, anyway, that's really nice. I really like this. It's a good use of the space. What is that? Which one is this debug from? Do any of you know? Is Island Living? That's nice. And then on the roof, they've just got, it looks like a um, flat roof with some AC units and stuff. You did, you've all done such an amazing job. I really like this. I'm just so excited when we finally can play with these, like when you can make these functional with the pack, how cool is that gonna be? Cause you can mark like one, two, and then three units and then have this be a shared space. That's gonna be, it's just gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This one was built by Retro. <laughs> Retro with two zeros and two O's is who made this one on the gallery. Aware and Forth and Fanta um, and Elliot, thanks for the subs. You went to the game store today and you saw old Sims 2, Sim City, My Sims, and Castaways. See, you can find secondhand like physical copies of a lot of old Sims games in the thrift stores and stuff. That's cool. Okay. Um, let's go and do the next one. Massive Seagull. 
Their name is uh, Miss Litigo on the gallery. <laughs> Townhouses. Yeah, Seventeen Inch, I post all my videos, all my stream VODs on More Simsy. Um, what I will say is I'm gonna post this one, um, like kind of a ways away from now, because I'm gonna prioritize the early access content. So like, I'm gonna stream early access tomorrow and then post it the next day and like push out the early access footage. So I might not post this on YouTube for like a week. It's gonna be a little bit delayed because of the, for rent pack. Um, but I will put it on YouTube. Just maybe take a little bit longer than normal. Oops, I did, gotta go to Manage Worlds. Almost forgot. You can watch it on Twitch though. Um, it will be on Twitch, but it'll take a little bit longer to get over on um, on more Simsy. Yeah, tomorrow we can we can literally play early access of the pack. First time ever we're allowed to stream the CFE. Usually they take it away by now, but they're not taking away as early this time because they had some delays getting it out to people. So they extended our early access time and they're letting us stream in. I can stream it, not just show footage, stream it tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> first time ever. Big day. Big day. Um, okay. <laughs> Rosh, unaware, thank you for the sub, both of you. Um, all right. Um, no, they're letting us, they're letting us tell you the day before on purpose, awesomeness. That's, that's, uh, they made us wait until today to tell you. They had like a time where you were allowed to tell about the embargo. It's a whole thing. So, anyway. Um, well, Ruben, it's more just to do with the fact that they extended the early access period. Normally we lose access to it and then we get access again when the pack officially comes out or closer to it. But this time they extended it because of like, like problems with getting people the access. Cause they have to give everybody a second version of The Sims 4 in their library. And it's like a whole thing to, to get like the EA account information from hundreds of people and then like manually add it to their libraries. And so because there was some delay, they extended the access period. Um, so that's why it's a weird version of the game. So, um, and that's why we have no other packs because I have like right now in my EA account, I have like this Sims 4 and I have a second Sims 4 installed on my PC that has just the base game and the new pack. And the reason they have to do that is because otherwise there isn't, um, like the patch won't be out. They can't give me a code for the pack if they, if we don't have the update and the update won't be out till next week in advance so that it wouldn't work. If they gave me a code today, it wouldn't work. So they have to give us like the early access version. And then this way they can also have the watermark and stuff on it. So nothing gets leaked. Um, okay, anyway, this is um, this is the build from Massive Seagull. We've got these cute little townhouses as well. I love how they're all so different. Okay, so when you come inside on this one, this one's kind of yellow, which is very cute. Um, yeah, and it's global. So there's like literally hundreds of people around the world that they're trying to get this access to. Um, and it's a whole thing. So anyway, little yellow room. I love the dream home decorator stuff so much. They've got their little kitchen back here, dining table and the backyard. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's really nice. That's really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, guys, I can't answer your questions about the pack or the update today. I can answer them tomorrow, though, after the embargo. I can't talk about it right now. I've said all that I can say, basically. Um, and then in here on- oh, wait, I didn't go upstairs. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> talking about the pack. Ada and Rat and Jules and Arthi uh, and Goblin and Maud. Thank you for the subs. Um, upstairs, upstairs, we've got- it looks like a little yellow bathroom. There's an office space um, for, like, maybe an interior decorator from the pack. Um, and then around this way, we've got a super cute little bedroom space. Um, okay. And then, oops, I closed the thing by accident. And then in the middle unit, this one's all green. I love the colors. We got the yellow and now we have the green. Um, inside this green one, we've got like a little living room with some more kids toys. A lot of people put like little kids toys down in their living areas and it's always so adorable. We've got this area over here. We have the kitchen and the dining room. And then you go upstairs from here. Same layout in each of them. They've got another bedroom. I like this with the piano and the window nook. That's cute. Um, and then in this way, they've got like the little bathroom and one of the kids rooms. Look at all their posters. That's so cute. I think their door got deleted by accident. Oops. 
That is so cute. And then in their backyard, they have like some more toys for the kids. And on the far right version, this one's all gray and like a little bit more modern inside. We've got this living room. They've got a fish tank too. Lots of fish today. And then back this way, lovely dining table, huge kitchen. They have a bar, bunch of pretty stuff outside as well. And then upstairs, we've got this bedroom. Oh, I never use that bed. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Bathroom, and then they also have this. <laughs> they have the bubble drawn 5,000 from City Living. Um, nice, nice. <laughs> I really like that. This bed's from Island Living. People keep saying not so berry. It's not quite not so berry. It is, I mean, mint, yellow, and gray gens of not so berry, but it's not quite. I think it feels. Is it wrong to mark off not so berry? Because we know, we know that this wasn't built for not so berry. It doesn't have like the skill building stuff you need and stuff. I don't think that it counts as not so berry. I feel like when you build a not so berry house, you put the right skill building items and all those things in it. This one just happens to be colors. You know? You think modern house? I guess this one kind of has modern house vibes. We could mark off modern house. Okay. I like it. <laughs> go, go, Crispy. Thanks for the sub gift, by the way. Um, let's go on to the next one. The exterior is a little modern, too. It's all what you make of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, little Dika Stan account is the next one. And their name says, or it says, please tour a mod shell. Much love. So they actually, um, they didn't build one. <laughs> but I've been told to tour a mod shell. Christine, you spoke first. You want to do Christine's? <laughs> okay. Christine builds a really cool one. Whoa, this isn't it. But these are pretty, Christine. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about the rental pack. Yeah, I think Christine might be one of the only mods or the only mod who actually finished the shell this time around, so. Okay, this is what Christine built though. The Waterside Apartments, the premier rental property in Windenburg. Each of the six units are themed around a color and are designed for a wide variety of sims. Red, family with one child. Orange, successful artist. Yellow, elder with a cat who had to downsize. Green, uni student with a dog from the country. Blue, chic designer. Purple, athletic adventurer. Oh my God. That's amazing. Oh, I didn't comment on it yet, that's okay. Christine knows I saw it. <laughs> Christine's right there. <laughs> you had very specific themes in mind. Yeah, I love it though. Christine built them in sort of a different shape as well. Um, we've got them in like kind of a U shape. Sunny is so sleepy. Can I move this at all for you? Sorry, now you can see your head better. How about that? Okay, um, are you kidding? So she put them together in like a U shape instead of doing them next to each other like a lot of us did, which was really cool and like totally fine and allowed. Look at this, there's a sundial. I never use that. We need to use that more often. That looks amazing. The landscaping? I'm in awe. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's go inside for a second. So when you come in here, it looks like downstairs we have the first unit. This one is the red one. So they've got their little kitchen, dining room, living room. They have a kid's room. Um, they also have a bedroom and a bathroom down here. There's even a closet, it looks like. That's so cool. <laughs> um, and then this one, this is the orange unit. Same thing, you walk in, we've got like a little entryway table. I like the split up layout here. They've got a lot of pretty colors. This person's kind of crafty. They have a lot of like crafty stuff. Nice table. 
Um, here's their bedroom, and then they have a little bathroom as well. On this side, this is the yellow apartment. I love how you did the colors, because then it's very obvious who's is who's. Um, but over here in this yellow one, they've got a cat. So this is the elderly sim with the cat. So they have their little living room. Um, they've got all of this little kitchen and dining area. They have a cat calendar! <laughs> Uh, and then this is their bedroom. They have their litter box and like some storage, their little bathroom right here. Um, so I want to play with this pack. I want to, I want to be able to make this into a functional one so bad. <laughs> okay, and then you go up this staircase and you can access the apartment units. How did you figure this out so nicely? It looks amazing. So from here, you can access the purple one. Um, they have kind of like a cute- my first pet stuff. They have like a cute kitchen and dining room. Um, they have, uh, almost like a living room studio sort of space, because they have a Murphy bed, um, with their bedroom and their TV. They've got like a little office area, and then they have their- <gasps> That tile looks amazing. Oops, I took a screenshot by accident. How? That's so cool. It's the fence from Get to Work. It's just like a regular tile. It's the regular floor with the Get to Work fence, but it looks really cool in there, like grout. It's decor to the max, just like regular flooring, but with the- I never thought about using the grout like that. Anyway, um, we also have like all the bathroom stuff there. They even have a, uh, a purple uh, ironing board. I don't think I remember that it had that purple swatch. We should have used that in the purple not so berry because that would have been good. Um, and then on this side, we have this like more bluish colored apartment. This one's a little bit more modern too. This painting is one of my faves. It's from City Living. It's just really nice. Like how, how pretty is that? I'm lost. Where did it go? It's there. It's just really nice. You get it from the Critic Career, but it looks beautiful in there. They have their bathroom. Kind of fancy, they have a swan sink. <laughs> and they have a very fancy bedroom as well. I like that wallpaper. Sunny, that's you! I don't think she cares. This is the Sim who's a designer, apparently, according to Christine, and that checks out. Ooh, look at this with their record player. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Okay, and then on this far side, you can use these staircases to get up to the last unit, and this one is green. They're, this person is from the country, apparently. <laughs> um, so they have like their little kitchen table and their kitchen set up. Um, they've got, looks like in here, it's kind of a studio apartment, so they have their living room. Cow plant! Can I mark cow plant off on my, on my bingo card for that? All it says is cow plant. They're yeehaw, but also in college, Christine says. And then they have a huge bathroom. That's really nice. This tile, honestly, unmatched. The new tile from Home Chef Hustle is so good. Home Chef Hustle is always gonna win the tile game. It has such nice stuff. That's really pretty. This cow plant flag is from high school years. Okay, I'm allowed to mark off cow plant, we decided. Yes! <laughs> Yes! Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh gosh. Christine, this was amazing, by the way. Like, I'm so impressed. You all, every single time, every person has impressed me so much. Like, how- what a cool idea. I'm jealous. I'm excited to build things like this. I want to do like a Windenburg apartment. I just- I'm never gonna stop. We're gonna build so many apartments as soon as the pack comes out. <laughs> We're gonna be unbearable. <laughs> Okay, I marked- I marked the cow plant off on there for that one. Um, and let's go to the next one. We'll go and see what we can do. Um, the next thing that we're going to go into her is Beakers and Baking, and their name is Alligator9393. Do you cable- oh, that's good stuff. Days off for the rest of the year on Friday. You deserve it. You deserve it. Um, okay, here is this person's townhouse shell. 
Two married college professors with a family with infant twins and best friends attending the local university all live together in these Brooklyn brownstone inspired townhouses. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I want to build so bad. I like first thing I'm doing, first thing I'm doing as soon as the pack comes out and we like actually have it with all the packs is I'm building Brooklyn brownstones. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Okay, 30 by 30. Let's go place it in San Mayshuno. Oh, I'm lost. Yeah, you only have to redeem once. As long as you redeem it once, uh, I'll be able to see yours. You shouldn't be able to redeem it twice, so fingers crossed you can't. Um, but, okay. Um, let's see what we can do. I'm excited about this one. Ooh, I like how they're all different brick or like the middle one is so that there's some separation. This looks so cute with these windows on this one and the pride flag in the front. That's a nice brick color. Realm of Magic. Realm of Magic is a good brick. Okay, so they have this beautiful landscaping out front, kind of around the side. We have like some community amenities like the basketball hoop. There's a splash pad. There's some kids stuff like a playground. Look at this little community garden. They said, please do not poop in here. And they've got some little planter boxes. Thankfully, no meat wall. Thankfully. <laughs> no, we're only going to do the tours today, Laura. So we kind of tried to squeeze this one in um, to kill time before the pack comes out because starting tomorrow, I can stream early access of for rent. So we're going to be very busy. <laughs> Um, and I have been very busy the past couple weeks because I've had early access for like a week now. Um, so I, I uh, wrote an 11 page review that I recorded today. Um, it's a two hour long recording of me just going over my script. So hopefully I can cut it down to not take two hours. But anyway, I've been very busy, <laughs> very busy recently. Um, yeah, Hope, it's not going to be done tonight. It's going to take time tomorrow, too, unfortunately. I think this is going to be like an all-nighter situation and then some to get it finished in time for tomorrow. So, anyway, yikes. <laughs> you would watch two hours? Yeah, well, you're going to get that, actually. I filmed also a, um, like, a gameplay video. I was like, you know what? All the City Skylines YouTubers, they make hour-long videos, and I love them. So then I filmed for five hours. I just played like a whole Let's Play, and I'm gonna post it as one video. I think it's gonna be like two hours long though, when I upload it on Saturday. Um, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna post on Saturday, <laughs> so. Um, I know that not everybody likes long videos, but I do, so, um, that's what I'm gonna post. I don't think that Hope is gonna be able to do captions on that one, though, because it's so long, unfortunately, but, um, that, yeah, I'm gonna post that this weekend. <laughs> Big weekend for content, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> um, I also like long videos, yeah, we are all the same. I just think it's so nice to sit down and watch them, you know? Um... Okay, um, well anyway, here's the outside. I'm distracted, sorry. <laughs> they look, they've got a dumpster. I love a dumpster. And then you go inside um, and in here, this is perhaps the college professors who live together. This is fancy. That looks nice. They got a little bathroom. Here's their living room area. I really like the windows. I just feel like this layout works so well. Fancy tile with their kitchen and their little dining room area. Wow, and then you go up their staircase and they've got a shared office between the two of them with all of their degrees and, and fancy awards. And then their bedroom is back here. This is so nice. I like this one. Yeah, I put the Among Us fought up on YouTube today, I think. Oh my god, speaking of which, I have to, I want to show you something from the VOD. To, I'll show you when, when uh, I finish touring this one, but you're going to like it. Um, 
from the Among Us game on Tuesday. Uh, this is like the one that belongs to the family. So they've got like kind of a colorful living room. They've got a cute kitchen and dining area combo with some baby stuff and some toys. This is nice. I like I like the layout of this kitchen. I feel like that seems kind of realistic to me. Um, and then upstairs in there, they have the little room for the toddlers and stuff for the baby. And then we've got the, the primary bedroom. This is pretty. I like the all white. I need to use these cabinets in all white more because that actually looks pretty good. I don't do all white kitchens that often these days. Um, and then on this right side, this is for the two college roommates, right? So they've got their like pretty fun and colorful living room. There's ads playing. That's so annoying. Um, they also have their little dining room and kitchen combo. Every single one of these is so different. Pretty wallpaper. Look at that in their bathroom. And then upstairs we have the first bedroom. Very fancy up here, I must say. This is a TV. And then look at this one with the pretty lights. This is the dream. That is the dream. Wow, you all are so impressive. Every single one of the builds we've seen today is so vastly different. I know I keep saying that. I didn't look at the backyard either. The college students have a ping pong table and a keg. <laughs> The family has like some toys for the kids and then the, the uh, professors have this nice outdoor space with a fire pit. Well, that's really nice. Okay, let me show you all what I was talking about from the Among Us VOD. So people told me, um, people told me yesterday or whenever that, um, that, uh, <laughs> I I had done like I had basically in my when I was playing Among Us. Sorry, I'm distracted because I was looking for it. Um, that during Among Us when I was um, this is the wrong Everyone. one. Why is that one at the top? During Among Us, I let Dan kill Miv right in front of me, and I didn't notice. And this is extremely funny, so I wanted to show you. Um, oh, hi, shrimp. I wanted to show you the footage of me uh, having Dan kill Miv right in front of me, and me not realizing. Look at this. Watch here. Oh wow, big yawn. He literally killed Miv okay. right in front of oh, me. Oh hi shrimp. Oh wow, big but yawn. But I was talking to the cat, so I didn't see. It was right when I looked at shrimp. I said, oh hi shrimp. Right when I looked at shrimp. And then Miv's dead. I was also in a task, so that didn't help. Like they were over oh, here shrimp. and I was, oh, wow. Wow, I was yawn. busy. But like, he got so lucky with that. So lucky with that. I had no idea, no idea. Anyway, and then my chat tells me that he killed her, he killed her right in front of you, you didn't see. And I was like, really? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> he was right there. Okay, so this person um, that built this, their name is Alligator 9393 on the gallery if you're looking for it. Um, and Jaden, thanks for the 19 months. Strawberry, thank you for the slow gift. Sassafras, um, and Brew, thank you so much. Um, okay, and no, I said Brew. No, it was Marissa who gave bits talking about Brew. <laughs> and talking about liking long YouTube videos. <laughs> Sorry. It says, one time I sent Brew in a message, uh, like a screenshot of a longer video from a content creator I like that was like 45 minutes long and said, this is my Super Bowl. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. It's gotten to the point where sometimes I'll see a YouTube video from like, uh, I watch a lot of City Skylines videos and they're always like an hour long. And it'll be like, maybe an episode will be like 35 minutes long and I'll be like, wow, so it's a short video? <laughs> 35 minutes and I say, oh, it's short. <laughs> but I just, I love, I love long YouTube videos. It's really good stuff. I'll just sit there and watch it for ages. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go to the next one, shall we? <laughs> okay, we've got Summer Alyssa. Oh, never mind. They said mod shell, please. I don't think any other mods did a shell. I think it was just Christine who finished it in time. Well, below them is Elme Sky 00. So you're in luck. You are in luck. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Bestie, we don't do this. <laughs> okay. <gasps> they built a cat cafe recently. Simsy Retro Townhomes? Oh my god. 
Simsy retro townhomes? No, we're doing them random Kit Kat. I've been doing it random the whole time. Uh, that time, the person who was randomly selected didn't do one. So I just went below them to the next person. That's why I did that. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. I'm not changing the thanks for the subs. Skipping Sims 2? It kind of is a little bit. In a good way. For sure. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. This is so different. We haven't really seen anything like this one yet today. Oh, that's beautiful. I think they flipped it around. Yeah, this was the front of mine. They flipped theirs. This is so cool. So they've got like a blue one, an orange one, and then kind of a green one. They all have like little individual front yards. So it looks like these people are big into sports um, that live in this unit on the left. So we'll start there. Oh, look at the fun colors inside with the blues and oranges. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I've ever used that swatch on that bookshelf. That looks cool. Sports on the floor right here. They've got the sports wallpapers. They have a lovely kitchen, this big dining table, well, small dining table. Over here, they've got this really nice little like bathroom area and then their bedroom. Oh wait, it's six separate units. <gasps> so these people, they, they get to, this is their yard and then they access it from, oh my God. So there's six totally different ones. They're all one bedroom. It's six units, it's not townhouses. That's amazing. Okay, let's do the upstairs of this one then. So back here, they've got like, uh, looks like a bike and some art stuff. And you come up into their unit, it's like kind of pink and blue instead of orange and blue. Look at this. The person who built this uh, on the gallery is Elmay Sky. L-M-A-E-S-K-I on the gallery is who built this one. I really love the colors in here. This is so fun and like cutesy. Okay, so they have a little bathroom and then they have a bedroom in this unit too, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it's functional, so they have a bed. This couch, that's the one from university. I did not realize it had that nice of a pink swatch. That's kind of a game changer. Cause when I think about this one, I think about like the red color. Like I don't, oh, it's got a nice mint color too. Huh. See, this is what I mean. You learn so many things when you do these shell tours because people keep using stuff in ways that you don't really think about or realize because there's so many items like so easy to miss. Okay, so that's the, that's the upstairs of this one. Then in this middle unit, it looks like this sim is big into plants. So they've got like all these planter boxes and flowers growing and stuff in their front yard. Um, you come in here. Oh, it's so cute. I like the colors in here with the pink, orange, and yellow. They've got a pretty plant curtain. They've got their kitchen in this corner. I like this area. Those chairs are nice. That is really nice. This couch is good too. That's from high school years. Oh, the little pillow is quite cozy. And I really like this, like the big long set of tables and stuff with the, the clutter. This item as well, this is a shelf. It's a shelf from Cottage Living. I have never thought to use that underneath a TV before. That's genius. To put that as like a TV stand. The TV is the frame TV from the Modern Luxe kit too. And then we've got a little bathroom with the rainbow rug and then this is their bedroom. So colorful and pretty in here. That's amazing. Okay, and then from back here, their upstairs neighbor has a pea bush and a bike. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Ooh. <gasps> Oh, this kind of has the retro vibes they're talking about. I really like that. So they've got like a Murphy bed in the hallway or in the main living room, I mean. They've got a bar as well, the globe bar. Really cool record player and TV. We've got the bubble blower thing in their small kitchen. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like a makeup and hair and photography set up in here for them. And they've got a bathroom. That's so nice. I really like the color combo. I I really like these two rugs together and I've never thought about pairing this rug with these, but that matches really well too. That's from the bowling stuff pack. Bowling jump scare. <laughs> I like that. 
Maybe they're an influencer, I don't know. That's pretty. I, I like this one a lot. Every single one of these has such different vibes. Okay, and then on this far right side, this one is a bit green. They have a telescope so your sim can die. Um, <laughs> you come inside, uh, they've got like sort of a green vibe. Bright green kitchen set, lava lamp. They've got a little bookshelf area. Look, there's a void critter in the shelf. Oh, and they've got a letter too. We should, we should put void critters in my builds more often. Cause I like that, that's kind of cute. I love their big living room. They have some little Star Wars details too. And then in the back, this is their little bedroom. And they've got a bathroom as well. And then in the way, way back, <laughs> these people also have a telescope and a fire pit. And then upstairs, this one, oh, purple and green. How did they think of so many fun colors? There's so, they have so many color schemes in here. I really like that. These people are into music, it looks like. Big kitchen. Those are the little, like, uh, earbud things. They've got a bathroom with the black accents, and then they also have this fun bedroom. I don't think that I'm very good at, like, mixing and matching funky colors. Like, I... I'm not so good at taking items that you wouldn't expect to match and then pairing them together. Like, that's not my strong suit. And I, I always feel kind of jealous of, of people like this who are able to put together so many things and have it look so good. Like, and somehow all six units look good together. <laughs> like they're not supposed to, but they do. Like it just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at the mixing and matching as much. I have to practice more. Cause it, it either ends up like really fun or really chaotic. And I think mine leans more chaotic <laughs> when I do it. Um, Elmay, you did an amazing job. This was, this was like stunning. I'm so excited about this build. Also, there's dumpsters back here. Big win. <laughs> Anytime there's a dumpster, I'm into it. The downstairs green rock. Oh, this is Strangerville, this one. There's a handful of like kind of retro. Oh, I'm not in streamer mode. Uh oh. There's a handful of like kind of retro rug settings. Only took me three hours to notice. Rug swatches, I mean, on the Strangerville rug. So, that's so pretty. You wanna know which pack the orange living room carpet is from? Um, this one, Strangerville. This one is the um, Parenthood stuff pack, or game pack, sorry, if you're looking for this one. And that one is the um, pastel pop kit. Modern Lux kit, backyard stuff, bowling. <laughs> bowling, backyard stuff, high school years, bowling. This one is from the pastel pop kit too. Yeah, pastel pop. So anyway, that's all of them. <laughs> Lots of bowling in that one. Lots of bowling. <laughs> Love that you have them memorized. Yeah, I know <laughs> I know the Sims 4 very well. <laughs> I know what items come in what pack very well. <laughs> that gave you building motivation? That, okay, that is like the nicest thing that you could say. Because that is exactly what we're going for. I want you all to look at these people's shell builds and then get inspired to do something yourself. Like that is, that is like best case scenario, exactly what we want to have happen with the shell builds. I, I want you to, to like see these things and be like, wow, I want to build. Because <laughs> that's, that's the fun part of it all. So, um, okay, let's go to the next one. We are going to do Erica Danielle, Erica underscore Danielle on Twitch. Their name is uh, Era Dan1587. Garden District Townhomes, oh my gosh. And it's set as a cafe. Three townhomes with shops and eateries down below. Clothing boutique, French style bakery, and a hole in the wall pub. And the owners all live on the second floor. And then it says, PS, watch where you step by the pond. Gators have been spotted from time to time. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, this is in Brindleton Bay. Um, we do the shell challenges about once a month, Mia. Sometimes we space it out a little bit more depending on what's going on. Like this one and the last one were a bit closer together. The next one might be a little bit further apart. Kind of just depends. Although we wanted to do a, uh oh, are we gonna do a Christmas one still? I don't know if we're gonna have time. We might have to do a, po that's not Brindleton Bay. We might have to do a post Christmas Christmas one. <laughs> this one was supposed to kill time before the new expansion pack comes out. So we'll do a January one, New Year's. 
It's never. It was never going to be a Christmas shell because we don't want it to like exclude anybody. But I was kind of going to try and do it around then. Was the idea? New. We we did do a New Year new shell a couple years ago, so we could bring that back. New Year new shell two, or something. <laughs> That's an idea. Okay, here's their build. I like how they separated them. I've seen a couple people do this now, where they put the lights in between, like in the alleyway, and I think that looks so cool. I really like that. I also like how they did this over here, how they like put the balcony part so it makes the building look a little bit bigger. Oh, New Year, New Shell was this year. Oh, was it? <laughs> Time flies. I haven't, I haven't a clue what's going on. Um, <laughs> I haven't a clue what's going on. They also have the pond that alligators have been spotted in from time to time, legendary. Um, in the back, we've got a little parking lot area. That looks so good. More parking on this side. This is one of my favorite lots. This is the lot where the lounge is in Brindleton Bay. It's really pretty. Okay, so starting here with this one, um, it looks like this little shop. Oh, it's the boutique. Oh my gosh, they've got clothes and shoes. They have Agnes's purse. <laughs> they have Agnes Crumplebottom's purse. <laughs> Um, and then you could get some like cosmetics. It looks like they've got um, in the way back, maybe the the like office area. They have a little bathroom right here. Um, and then upstairs, upstairs, when you come in, this is the apartment of the owner of this one. They've got their little bedroom. Um, they've got a bathroom and their small kitchen living area. Maybe this is where Agnes buys her clothes. I, I would believe that Agnes goes to like a really pretty local boutique. Like, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. The parking lines, the parking lots in debug. Good question. So this thing, the parking stop is Strangerville debug. It looks like this item they use is a fence. Um, this is the fence from get to work. There's a few options. People also, um, sometimes I will use like, what am I doing? Sometimes I'll use like, you know, I'll use these little things. These are like little floor things, but they light up is the problem. Um, they have like these little floor lines from spot A. So there's a few options, but this is a fence. And then this is from Strangerville. Um, and then these lights are from the toddler stuff pack, the lights they've got hung up on the walls. Okay, in the middle of this one, this little one is a cafe. Look at the bows they put on the door. That's so cute. <laughs> they have a cute little pink cafe over here with the pretty flowers. And then in the back, they've got the kitchen. There's a bathroom. Um, you go upstairs, uh, you can access the, the entrance. Oh, it's from here. Okay, so you come up this staircase and their front door is right here. There's like a little hallway and then they have their bathroom, their bedroom, and then their kitchen and living room for this owner of the cafe. And then on the far right, this is like the pub they were talking about. So they've got a, a bunch of outdoor seating over here. Um, you come in. Oh, I like the pub. I like this wall stuff a lot. This is all debug. They place the like bottles of um, like nectar and, and stuff out of debug. They've got all the pretty art on the walls. You come back here. They've got a little kitchen. It looks like the bathroom. I like that stone with the wood walls. And then obviously you can come up the stairs and this is how you access the, the living room. I like this one. I like this one. <laughs> this is the little bedroom. They have a huge balcony. They've got their living space. And then in the back, look at this cute platform area with the grill. I think we could probably finally cross off platforms because we haven't crossed it off yet. <laughs> I think also, because we're getting close to the end here, we should mark off the things that we have seen, but we didn't mark off because we just marked off one per build. We did see a pink one. And then it turned out to be creepy. So we marked off creepy instead, but we did see pink. And we also saw a farm. So we got bingo for real. And then second bingo <laughs> with the pink. We're still missing graves, not so berry, glass roof, plant roof, tragic clown, and Sulani. So I don't know if it's going to work out. I want a glass roof so we can get like the double bingo, but we'll see. Oh, in the top left, it says graves. Sorry. The cat is covering it. <laughs> it says graves in the top left where, where the cat is. Um, all right, we'll probably do at least a couple more. We'll do a couple more, I think. 
Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is going to be from Coffee Crafts and their name is Ella Rose 735 on the gallery. Does an urn count as a grave? Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Let me check their chat history and see if I can find if they put their name. Uh-oh, they didn't. Coffee Crafts, if you're still here, let me know. Um, I don't know how to find it. Um, Ella Rose 73. Ella Rose 735. I'm not sure what theirs is. Okay, Coffee Crafts, let us know and we'll come back to yours just in case. Just in case. Um, and we'll do it. We'll do another one instead. I feel so bad, but they redeemed that three hours ago, so they might not be here anymore. Um, okay, Kayla watches. <laughs> Kayla plays 247 is next. Well, I must say, I do like your name. <laughs> I do like your name. Okay, here we go. We got Kayla, Kayla watches. Um, uh, they said, I hope there are any mistakes in this build. Be nice. Be nice to yourself. I like how they're all identical. That's so cute. Okay, let's go take a look. 30 by 20. Um, let's head over to Newcrest. T-Dog, Chicken, Jack, Casey, thanks for the subs. We'll go and see. I'm glad Sunny's been sleeping peacefully. It makes me feel better. There won't be any mistakes, though. Don't worry. Okay, here we have their beautiful little townhouses. That's so cute. This looks like the kind of townhouses you see in real life around here a lot. I think that, well, not around here. This is a bit cuter than what you would see around here, but the way, the way, the way they're all identical is like super realistic. I love this fence too. Believe it or not, this fence, Strangerville. You kind of forget about it because it's from Strangerville, but it looks adorable with their landscaping. I mean, come on. Okay, and then around the side, they've got the little like uh, trash cans. Each unit has their own backyard. This feels American, yeah. <laughs> you forgot to add a fridge, that's fine. Who needs it? Who needs it? You're fine. <laughs> so when you first come in, uh, this one's kind of like pink and purple and green, it looks like. You walk in, they've got this really cute setup of birthday cards. They've got a fish bowl as well. And they've got like the marriage license and, and a couple of the, the pretty baby handprints. They've got a super cute kitchen. Another fish! There's a theme today. Everybody's got fish this time. I never see fish bowls that off this often. We've seen so many today. Anyway, this is the living room. Super cute color scheme. Back here we have a little dining room with a fireplace. And then upstairs we've got a bedroom. This fireplace for growing together is one of the best ones in the entire game. That's just so nice. Is that a mirror? How did, oh my gosh. They sized down the mirror and then put the groin together frame around it. So it looks like the frames around a mirror. That's really clever. Wow, I've never thought to do that before. That looks pretty smart. They've got some more pictures here. We have this really cute kids room with a bunch of clutter and then we have a little bathroom and a rat. My first pet stuff. That's our first rat all day. <laughs> yes. And then in their backyard, they have like some little stuff for the kids to play with. Look at their bikes for the family too. That's so cute. Was there another fish bowl? Another fish. These people love pets. Okay, anyway, <laughs> in the middle unit, they've got a little bathroom. They've got their small kitchen. This thing is actually a rug that comes from Island Living, but it matches this rug from growing together perfectly. They use it kind of like tile underneath the kitchen. And then they have their small living room. Back here, we've got a dining room. Absolutely stunning. And then upstairs, we've got, it looks like a little bedroom in the hall uh, back here. And then big hallway with a game table. And then they have a little kid's bedroom and another bathroom. That's really nice. Didn't realize how many fish I had. No, I love that though. I think it's fun. They have a lot of fish. They're they're big pet big pet people in that house. Um, and then on the far right, they use the same. Look, this is that rug again, but like as a tile. 
I've never really thought to use that as a tile everywhere. It's got a couple really nice swatches too that like really work as floor tiles. That's so smart. And they have like kind of this dark blue, of course I like the blue one. <laughs> they have this like dark blue one with them. They have some pet corners too. And then upstairs, ooh, jump scare. I always forget about that swatch. <laughs> I always forget about that swatch. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hold on, let me text mom back. Um, um, okay, sorry, she was asking if um, I could hang out tonight and the answer is no because I have to finish this, the review video. It's okay. Well, here's her, uh, or their bedroom, sorry, in this little area. And then on the left side, we've got this super cute office and another bathroom. Oh, and in the backyard, it looks like they have a grill and some plants. Oh, that's pretty. And then they have also a grill and some planter boxes and some more stuff for their pets. Can I hang out with your mom instead? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could. Um, you could if you want, Christine. Today is just a bad day. Also, that one is Sunny, people that are asking. Um, Sunny's on the cat cam today. I can pretend to be Simsy, yeah. <laughs> Okay, beautiful build though, Kayla. That that is um that is just lovely. I don't think they can cross anything off. Nothing wrong with that though. At this point of the the shell tours, you never find much that you can cross off. <laughs> it's rare to get much that can be crossed off at this point. Um, okay, now we're gonna do my vision is dying from Dead Vision Ten on the gallery. Let's take a look. Village Lane townhouses. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Henford Housing Boom. Three wonderful properties on a quiet village lane available to rent. Oh, that's so cute! All within walking distance of the town square. I'm so excited. Let's go take a look at these. Um, I think we'll do we'll do one more after this one. We aren't quite, we still have some time. So we'll, we'll do another one after this. We aren't quite done yet. Um, but unfortunately I can't stay on too late because I do have a lot of work to do tonight. <laughs> I do have a lot to finish up um, and a bit of a time crunch with the embargo lifting tomorrow, so. Move over America, it's England time. Yeah, we just had like very American ones in that last build. Now this one is, is very British. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, oh, Danny, I'm glad we got to see it. It was really good. I really liked it. Um, okay, so here is the Village Lane townhouses that they have built. Oh my gosh. I love this one with the little cafe. We'll get to that. But here's the outsides. We've got two houses in a row and then like a little shop over here. Around the back. This one's got a pea bush. Phone booth. That's so fun. I like the landscaping. Okay, anyway, when you come up to this one, let's look in the cafe first. We've got like some little tables and some seating. And they've got a little cafe in the back and also a bathroom for you. And then they have some outdoor seating on the side as well. Um, in the alleyway, there's like some more seats and little decor. If you come around back here, you can go upstairs and on the top, oh, there's like a really modern apartment. This is so British. You guys love modern kitchen cabinets. You see them so often. <laughs> they love that, they love that. Anyway, they have a little Murphy bed, kind of like a studio and then they have also a bathroom and stuff. I like this entryway too, that's nice. Um, and then if you come on this way, they've got this cute little cottage with the green. They also have a death trap. Uh, and when you come inside, this one is also very updated inside, it looks like. They've got a little tiny entryway, big living room, office nook. It's kind of opened up, so they've got a bunch of space. And then they have this cute kitchen in the back. I like the green accents with the green windows. That's so fun. Yes, what, okay, this thing, biggest missed opportunity in the whole stupid game. Why is that not a woohoo spot? You can't even click on it, it's decorative. It should have been a woohoo spot. I, like, truly devastating. That was the biggest mistake they ever made in The Sims 4, was not making that a woohoo spot. Why can't you click on it? <sighs> anyway, upstairs. <laughs> upstairs we have a little kid's bedroom with my favorite rug. We've got a little bathroom with the laundry in it. Um, and then we also have this nice bedroom with a TV on the wall, that's nice. Um, 
the biggest, okay, maybe not the biggest mistake in The Sims 4, <laughs> but one of the bigger mistakes, okay? And then on this far left side, we have a bit of an older style uh, house. They've got like a long skinny hallway with a small living room. They've also got crafts. Everybody has crafts in their build. Um, and then down to the right, we've got a small kitchen and dining room area. They've got the laundry, so they have also a place to hang it to dry outside. And cats. Oh, and look at their little garden. That's so cute. And then upstairs, we've got a small bedroom with their little shoes. We've got a hallway, a bathroom, and a cat room. <gasps> Sunny, are you seeing this? There's a whole cat room. She actually doesn't care. She doesn't care at all about your builds. It's so messed up. I'm really sorry about my, my um, mean cat. I don't know why she won't pay attention to you. She like, she won't even turn around to look at it. Asleep. <laughs> She's asleep. <laughs> um, Mad Dog, thanks for the 31 months, by the way. I love you, friend. And Philip and Phoenix and t Dak, thanks for the subs too. Um, that is very generous and kind of all of you. And uh, I love you, um, Mad Dog. I'm sorry that happened. Okay. Sunny, I can't be mad at her. She's just a baby. She's just recovering. Should I touch her? Sunny. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you that much. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Now she's sitting sleeping. Why does she look like that? From this angle, her fur is, like, weird. So it looks like she has a bald spot on her head. Sunny, the people are judging you. Don't put your butthole on the camera! Okay. Oh, my God, that's so cute! <laughs> That was so cute. She curled up in a little ball. <laughs> anyway, I don't think she has a bald spot on her head. I think her fur was just like sitting weird or something. <laughs> I love cats. Oh my god. Okay, let me. We there's ads playing, but I'll I'll get the next one pulled up here. Um, I think so. We're gonna do the next one is Mooney Love Bot. Um, it says it might have CC, but, um, it's just custom photos, so we'll, oh, sorry, their gallery name is different than their Twitch. My bad. Oh, they built four. Um, no, it was, like, on the back of her head. She does have some funny spots above her eyes that are kind of bald looking, but it's on the back of her head. She does have some bald spots there on her eyes, though. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> And it's very obvious on her, but it was on the back of her head. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, anyway. No CC, it's just come to custom paintings. It's four units, uh, and it looks like we are in San Myshuno on a 30 by 30 lot. Let's go take a look at it. But yeah, that's, you can see it here. Her, like, the lighter spots above her eyes, so. Does she have eyes in the back of her head? She might. Who's to say? She was born in a sewer, like, she could have all kinds of weird stuff going on. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll load in. We'll take a look at, uh, at Mooney's build with the four townhouses. Dylan, I'll be live for a little bit longer. This might be our last buildable tour today, unfortunately. Um, but I don't, we'll see, we'll see. I might not have enough time to keep going though, unfortunately. This is what I get for filming a multiple hours long review of the stuff, or of the expansion pack that I have to post tomorrow. Like I have to, I have a lot of work to do to finish it. It takes a long time to make these videos. <laughs> and I wanted to hold off until like close to the end because then I will have played it as much as possible, you know, before the pack, before like it's time to post. So it, I don't know, hard to find time, but that's what we're up to. Um, so this is the set of three townhouses, four townhouses, sorry. They added an extra one. I really, really like the front yards they've done. I think that is so cute. I like how they're identical, but the houses themselves are so different. I just think that's so adorable. And then around the side, we've got parking. And then each of them has their own kind of customized backyard. So we'll, we'll get to that. Let's start with the, the left side. Yes, I can post the review tomorrow. We can also stream the pack tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna be a big day. <laughs> Tomorrow is gonna be a big, big, big day. Anyway, when you first come inside on this left side one, 
They've got like a little entryway, it looks like. I like this exposed brick with the green. That's a pretty wallpaper color. Is that just one of the base game ones? Oh, wow, I need to use that more, that's nice. They've got their bathroom down here too. Um, yeah, and EA's live stream is tomorrow too. I'm gonna be live at four Eastern time tomorrow, which is three hours ago, but tomorrow is the plan. Um, and then in here we've got, this is like some music as well, and they've got a nice TV. In the back, we've got our dining and kitchen area. This is delightfully ugly. I mean that in the nicest way possible. I kind of forgot about that swatch. That's stunning. I, I really, really like that. That's perfect. Perfect. I need to use that more. I've learned today, a few people have used this chair, and I really like this chair. I need to use that more often. Yeah, it's like this color brick with the teal. It's very pretty. Those That, that color combo is so nice. Um, okay, and then upstairs, up here we've got a cat, or a dog, I guess, probably. Dog corner. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> the dog's a star! <laughs> they have a wall full of photos of their dog! <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. They've just filled it completely with dog photos. That, I should do that with pulp. Why haven't I done that with pulp? Wow, that's genius. Write that down. <laughs> you need to write that down. We need to add that to the next Not So Berry house. We have to get a pulp wall. That's good stuff. Okay, I'll do it. They've got some storage back here, and then around this way, uh, we have a little bedroom with more dog photos. Look at how cute it is. The little bow is so big on its head. <laughs> I love it so much. This is so nice. Okay, so that's the, the first unit. In the back, we should have known, they have dog training stuff back here. They are dog people. I bet it's like a star. The dog must win all kinds of contests, I bet. Um, okay. <laughs> and then on the inside, so, so of the next one, I mean, we come over here to the next middle unit. It looks like you walk into a little entryway table right here. They've got their kids' lunch boxes. And then you come into the kitchen, super cute. They've got like a pantry shelf set up with some storage. They have a little bathroom right here and then their small living room and like dining area. I love all their shelves with the cute decor everywhere. And upstairs in here, they've got a little toddler bedroom. That's so nice. The lunch boxes are base game now, Jessica. They added them into the base game um, back in like September. So that was kind of a fun update. And you can get like quick meals out of them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, they have a bathroom with some toddler stuff in it and then also their primary bedroom. I really like all these bedrooms with the window seat in the front. Cause a lot of people, obviously everyone had the same shell. So people keep putting the window seats there and it just looks really nice. All the windows are so beautiful. Uh, and then in their backyard, they've got a little sandbox. Oh my gosh, they have the sandbox and the little toddler slide. That's adorable. I love those windows. It's so big and bright in here. Um, and then the next one, they have like a little bench and stuff. It looks like this one's gonna be a bit darker. When you come in here, it's a bit more open floor plan. They have some collectibles and their shoes all lined up. Uh, they've got their living room with a game console. I always forget to add that thing for my Sims. I should do it more. Considering I am literally a gamer, <laughs> literally a gamer, you'd think I would add it more, but I'm not a console gamer. I'm a little PC gamer, so I forget about it. <laughs> I should put it on more for sure though. Oh, I like this with the curved counter. That looks pretty cool too. I never use the curved counters really. Really pretty kitchen. Um, they've got a small bedroom downstairs for maybe like a kid who's also literally a gamer apparently. <laughs> and they've got a bathroom downstairs. Um, and then up here, we've got another bathroom, another kid's room. Um, and another bedroom up here. I don't, I maybe I should have read who lives here. Maybe it's like a bunch of roommates, I don't know. Either way, it's beautiful, I love it. I love it, nice color scheme. There's so many good items for this sort of thing, like with the bookshelves and all the clutter and stuff, we just have a lot of good options. I really like the movie posters, that's cool. In their backyard, ooh, they have access from upstairs. There's like a back balcony and then you can come downstairs and they've got like a grill and a cooler and a table and some seating with some more music. I need to make more of an effort to put radios in my Sims builds too because I always like forget to add them. 
And then I have to like have a party and then I have to buy one to get music and it's a whole thing. I need to put them in more often because we have a lot more like the ones like these that are a little bit more easy to hide because like the base game ones are quite big, you know? So now we have some more options that fit in a bit better. I need to put more radios. It's one of those things that I never add in, but like you kind of need one a lot for the events in the game, so. Okay, and then the last unit, this one's a bit pink. I like this dark brick color with it. Um, it kind of matches the flowers on here. You walk in, oh, they have a Roomba! And they've got the little like octopus thing. That's nice. So over here, pride flag, dining table. Oh, look at this little guy, that looks so good. And the shelves around the TV. Oh, that's beautiful. And the blue and pink. I really like this kitchen. This is my favorite of the kitchens in this build, I think. I love that a lot. In their backyard, they have a pool and like some seating and stuff. And then when you go upstairs, up this way, they've got cat, <laughs> cat corner. Sunny, are you seeing this? Sunny, no, she doesn't care. Cat corner. <laughs> Another pride flag. We've got a little bathroom with some more cat stuff. Um, and then a really beautiful bedroom. <gasps> Look at their custom artwork. Oh my goodness, those are paint by reference. And there's, oh, they're sized up medium paintings. Wow. I need to have my Sims do more paintings. They even have like some postcard collections. Well, that is absolutely, oh, oh, hold on. Dumpster. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. You all, you have done such an amazing job with the shells today. We did not get blackout bingo, but that is a failure of me and not you. That means I did a bad job putting things on the bingo card. The not so berry was a wild card. I'm shocked that we didn't find any graves. I'm shocked. I'm sure a lot of you built one with graves, but I'm shocked we didn't find one by accident. Um, the glass roof thing, wild card too. Plant roof, wild card. Um, tragic clown is never gonna happen. <laughs> and then Sulani, I wasn't sure, but I don't know. The graves was the most shocking. <laughs> Yeah, yours is in Sulani. Oh, good. I was sure that people built things with all of this stuff. We just didn't come across one randomly, unfortunately. But that's just kind of the way it goes. Um, I'm sorry that we can't tour uh, too many more on stream today. Unfortunately, the timing um, of this is just not ideal because I, I can't stream late tonight. I have a lot I need to do today. Um, but if you wanted to go see what everybody else built, if you go to hashtag Simsy Townhouse Shell on the gallery and you give it a scroll, um, a lot of people built a lot of really amazing things. Um, there's been a lot of cool builds that, that we didn't get a chance to tour today. Um, I mean, we could probably sit here and scroll forever and, and just keep seeing more and more and more. Um, and so hopefully you had fun if you did build one for this. Um, the, goal, the goal is always to inspire people and to have a good time and, and get a chance to try new things. We do have in the Discord server, there is a Shell Challenge channel. If you are in the server, you maybe want to share pictures of your bill if we didn't get a chance to see it today. Um, yeah, this is hard. We it's, It was a fast turnaround. Normally we wouldn't do it this short and it wouldn't be like this quick, but um, I, the reason the reason I did it this way was very intentional and it's because of the embargo for the pack lifts tomorrow. So starting tomorrow, I can make content on the new pack. Um, so we're gonna be able to, if you guys missed it, I'm gonna post my review tomorrow on YouTube, but also, um, we can stream with the pack, like literally stream it. Normally, the way this early access works is they give me like a second version of the game in my library and it's temporary and they take it away and then I can post videos after it's gone, but they had to extend it, um, cause there were some delays in getting people access. So they extended it and for the first time ever, they haven't taken it away yet and they're letting people stream with it tomorrow. So I can like literally live stream the full game instead of just showing you footage, um, which is gonna be really cool. So we'll have access to just the base game in the new pack, um, but we'll get to play with it tomorrow um, and really get a chance to, to see it and answer questions and stuff. And I'm so excited to talk about it. I like had all this footage prep to show you and then they were like, actually you can stream it. And I was like, I, I can? <laughs> that changes everything. So that's gonna be um, four o'clock Eastern time tomorrow, which is like this time, but tomorrow, um, which I know isn't like ideal time for everybody, but that's when I stream. Um, and then on Saturday, I'm gonna be live a lot longer. Um, we're actually doing a charity stream on Saturday. This timing could not have been better because I've been planning on doing this the first weekend of December for like months. 
Um, and, and then all of a sudden, turns out the embargo is lifting and I'm going to have the pack. Um, so we'll get to do the charity stream on Saturday and I'm going to be live starting at noon. So a lot earlier and I'm planning on being live like all day. So like seven or eight hours, probably I'm going to stream on Saturday. So we'll get to play the pack a lot on Saturday. Um, and also raise money for able gamers. Um, so it's, it's, a it's a big win, uh, all around for everybody. So, um, able gamers is a charity that helps, uh, to get people uh, access to and also to make video games more accessible. Um, so they do things like work with game companies on accessibility settings and and like um, helping to consult with them on those things. But they also help to make and then give people access to accessible controllers or like other assistive tech um, based on their needs so that they can play games too. Because um, obviously with the unbelievably huge range of disabilities. Um, people have different needs for controllers. So just to give an example, um, ranging from things like sometimes maybe you uh, can only really use one hand to, to hold the controller. That's, that's hard because there's buttons all the way over there that I can't reach. They make controllers that have extra buttons on the back so you can play with just one hand and use the front and the back at the same time. Um, they have controllers, maybe you have a hard time holding a controller. Um, and so they make ones that are like big and sit in your lap. So you, they're, the buttons are more spaced out, but you can use it that way. Um, my friend Steve plays video games with an, a tracker that tracks his eye movements. Um, so there's a very wide range of tech out there for people. Um, and Able Gamers, what they do is they'll help to like consult with people and figure out what their needs are um, and then help them get like matched up with what will work best for them. Maybe it's a foot pedal, maybe it, you know, it could be anything. Um, and then they have access to games, which is pretty amazing because obviously video games is a magical world that everybody deserves to have access to, especially um, a lot of disabled folks uh, like struggle a lot with social isolation. Um, and when you have access to the world of video games and like this online world to, to meet people and hang out with your friends, um, it's, it's like really life-changing, so. They mean a lot to me <laughs> and I like to do fundraisers for them on stream. So we'll do that on Saturday. That's the plan. Um, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for listening to my spiel about that. Um, that's the plan for this weekend. And then we'll, we'll play the game at the same time. So um, it'll be a big, big, big win. Um, anyway. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching everybody. I think on that note, I'm going to go and find maybe someone to raid. Um, so hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I'm going to go feed my cats. Oops, that's my stream. <laughs> I'm going to go feed the cats quick. Um, and then we will catch you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, stay tuned. I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff to show you tomorrow. <laughs> um, it will be fun. It will be fun. Um, much to do and much to see. Uh, I think... Um, let's go over and say hi, maybe, um, Pale Green M is building a pastel apartment. Everybody, everybody is like prepping themselves for this pack. None of us can stop making apartments <laughs> and the pack's not even out yet. Uh, but we'll go over there and we'll, we'll say hi, um, and watch some apartment builds. Yeah, shall we? And then I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Oh, and the other thing is the Sims team is doing their official live stream playing with the pack tomorrow as well. Theirs is at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I stream at four Eastern time and it's currently seven Eastern time, if that helps you. So like five hours ago, but tomorrow. <laughs> um, you can uh, always check like time zone calculators, 2 p.m. Eastern time, there's when they're gonna be live um, tomorrow doing their official stream. And then I'll be live at four. So two hours before when I go live usually is when they'll be live. Um, it's kind of early for a lot of people. It's hard to make it to those things live, but they're doing it during their work day. So <laughs> by extension, that makes it during probably your work day. <laughs> uh, but they do it during their work day. So that's why it's a kind of a weird time. Um, but they're on the West Coast and they do it while they're at work. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, go say hi to Pilgrim M and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, thank you for hanging out. We get to play with the pack tomorrow. I'm so excited. Sunny, say bye to all of our friends. No? Okay. <laughs> and I'll catch you all later, okay? <laughs> okay, bye everyone! Good night, I'll see you later! Bye! I don't know why I sung it like that! <laughs>